Yan, hello and good afternoon teachers. Magandang magandang hapon po and welcome to our session for today. No? Siyempre, medyo nagkaroon kasi tayo ng break. No? Medyo, <laughs> we have to take a break. No? Last week, wala tayong Saturday. No? And uh, yes, no, no Saturday session last week. No? At malamang sa mga Facebook friends ko po, nakita nila kung nasan si Sir Franco during our uh, last Saturday. No? Medyo nagpahinga po tayo. Of course, we also need to take care of ourselves okay? para lagi tayong merong lakas no, to do everything no? and anything that we need to do for others. Okay, lalo na na po sa ating um, advocacy at mission para sa ating mga teachers. Okay, so before we start teachers, I'd like to greet everyone first. Good afternoon, no? magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And thank you once again. No? Hindi ko talaga ini-expect, no? Sa so, totoo lang, teachers, alam nyo, pag nag-livestream uh, tayo, sabi ko, sana kahit 20 teachers lang muna or kaya 30 teachers lang ang makasama ko for today. Go na kagad or laban na kagad yan. No? Pero you're always here. You're always uh, ano, no, joining our sessions. Kahit po nakabakasyon tayo, busy tayo, preparation for next school year, you're always no, willing to learn and um, spending time no, with our community members. So, let me first um, start our greetings with our um, members of our community in the chat. No? At lahat ng ating mga live viewers na nasa chat ngayon. Okay? Uh, Sir, Sir Alan Brutas. Ayan, loyal si Sir Alan. No? Dalawang webinar ang pinapanood ni Sir Alan ngayon. Okay? Of course, those who are also watching no, yung Twinkle episode. Uh, Saring napakagandang episode no, by Twinkle Philippines. 
um, abangan din. Or pwede nyo rin pong panoodin yun. Ano? Okay? Sabi ko nga kay Sir Alan, lagi namang replayable or you can always review our sessions. Okay? Kaya pwede nyo po kami balikan kapag meron kayong mga live sessions na hindi nyo po pwedeng uh, ma-miss. No? Okay? Uh, teacher teacher Renan Sevilla Luz, Teacher Cheryl Hampak, Teacher Carolina Dumalanta, Teacher Al, teacher Janet Diego, Teacher Christine Joan Karandang, shout out daw po sa mga co-educators niya from Canyosa College sa Pablo City, Laguna, Teacher Lamberto Palapilatan, Teacher Napoleon Torsilino, Teacher Mary Grace Castillo, Teacher Daryl Haminar, Teacher Sugar12885 from Sarawak, Malaysia. Yes, we have some viewers now from outside of our country. Teacher Christy Hiponia, Teacher Rosita Balios, Teacher Lenny Veray, Teacher Regina Rose Regidor, Teacher Regina, no, lagit laging kasama natin. Teacher Telma Valdez, of course, si Miss Janine um, Era, no, uh, may utang pa ako kay Miss Janine kasi hindi nakarating yung kanyang Microsoft Kits dahil hindi abot ng career namin. Pero Miss Janine, don't worry makakarating po yan. Okay? Uh, teacher Alex Javier Alvarez, kay Teacher Sheila Marie Sanchez, Teacher Melissa Francisco, Teacher Catherine Fernandez, good afternoon, Teacher Sailin Marie Robante Palma, Teacher Frozzy Navara, Teacher Esther Edranil, of course, Teacher RM Ana Lizel, no, from day one until today, avid supporter ng KTS. Teacher Marie Liz Ragpa, Teacher Sean Arthur Mabitasan, Teacher Moe Lovers, <laughs> Teacher Neely, 100 years. Teacher Desiree Dino, always here as well. Teacher San Shenan Doa, Quek. Uh, Rose Marie Mata. Dada Wogs. Ayan si Dada Wogs din. Nandito lagi. No? Teacher Julian Madrid. Teacher Lorena Villano. Teacher Joan Acaba. Teacher, of course, Teacher May Baisa Versosa. Okay? Teacher, by the way, no? Uh, good luck, Teacher May, sa inyong uh, GC examination. Teacher Beljana Videnska. Teacher Jomar De Vera, Teacher Rochi Abelia, Teacher Dean Clifford Huami, always here as well. Teacher Selena uh, Saking, Teacher Mary Rose Vasquez, of course, Teacher Jesus Junior Katangi, congratulations for being accepted to the 15 unit um, webinar ng uh, Dep Ed Ed Tech Unit. Okay, uh, medyo bihira po yan. Teacher Raquel Agdon, Teacher Ruby Jean Mostero, Mostero. Uh, Teacher Jelinda Fortich, Teacher Telma Teodoro. Teacher Celestina, okay, na-mention na, na kanina. Teacher Imelda Publico. Teacher Rosana Batak. Teacher Clem Barya uh, Paklebar. Okay? And of course, to the rest of our viewers in the chat na, na medyo mahirap i-greet kasi sobrang haba na po ng ating chat, no, ng ating um, um, comment section no, so far. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat to all 107 of you live viewers no, for today. Okay? And of course, teachers, okay, para sa araw na to, no, what we're going to um to talk about now would be on uh Google ano no, uh, Google Forms complete walkthrough. So last time nag uh, Google Drive na tayo, uh, nakapag Google Classroom na rin tayo and of course na hindi natin pwedeng palampasin as a Google Workspace essential itong Google Forms. Okay? Actually, ito isa to sa pinaka widely used no na nag uh, tool ng Google Workspace kasi very flexible, okay? Easy to use, okay? kaya nagagamit ng kahit sino no of um, across different ages, different professions, kaya hindi lang to pang teachers no, o hindi lang pa to pang education, kahit sa ang field no talaga nagagamit itong Google Forms. Kaya napaka valuable no, uh, na maintindihan natin and we also get to understand better kay how to use the different functions of Google Form. Okay? So for today, that's what we're going to talk about for the next uh, two to three hours, teachers. Okay? Um, so hold on to your um, seats. Okay? Relax lang tayo dyan. So we can, you can eat, you can drink while you're having also no, um, this um, uh, listening no, to this um, walkthrough of Google Forms. Of course, ayan, habol natin. Shout out from Granada National High School. Okay? Um, from Sir Maximilian Sorbito. Okay? So teachers, let's get into this and let's start our... Um, our discussion for today. So for today, okay, ito yung um, i-cover natin. So we'll be talking about introduction to Google Form first, okay? Um, and then we'll do some explore, um, exploring the features of Google Forms. Yan, dyan tayo mas magtatagal teachers, okay? We'll be lo looking at all the buttons, no, all the features of Google Forms for today, okay? And of course, uh, we do also practical uses of Google Forms, okay? And an open forum. So teachers will be approaching this from a fresh perspective na fresh mind okay? from the last time that we've had a complete walkthrough no? so medyo matagal na rin po yun, 2 years ago okay and of course ngayon mas siguro mas i-explain natin yung mga different features niya kasi last time mas ano tayo medyo nagmamadali tayo on on exploring different um, um ano 
uh, features and buttons. And we'll also explore and explain no, how you can better use these different functionalities okay, ng ating uh, Google Forms. And of course, we'll also have an, an open forum for today. Okay? Baka meron kayo mga katanungan or questions or insights or baka meron ako na miss na... Um, na, na, na feature or uh, aspect ng ating Google Form para sa araw na ito. Okay? So those are the things that we're going to be talking about for the next few hours. Okay? So let's get into this, teachers, agad-agad. Pero sa bagay, ba, by the way, no, bago pala tayo magpatuloy because baka may mga questions, baka meron tayong mga new viewers ng ating um, um, uh, live session for today, our live stream for today. Do not forget that this is a live, um, um, this live session is a certified session. So you will all be getting a certificate after accomplishing our evaluation form. So meron po kami ibibigay mamaya sa mga new viewers po namin. We will be giving an evaluation form later on at the end of our session. Once you have accomplished our evaluation form, um, you will be able to get no, a certificate. But of course, teachers, bigyan niyo po kami ng few days. No, usually, it takes us five to seven days to process. Especially ngayon, marami kaming pending na certificates kasi kakatapos lang ng ating CPD events. Okay? And you also have to to, uh, no, no, we also have to inform everyone na meron kasi kaming limit na 1,500 sending limit per day. Okay, kaya natatagal lang po kami minsan magpadala ng certificates, lalo na pag lumalampas ng 1,500 ng aming evaluation, uh, evaluations okay, sa aming events. Okay, so please be patient with us, okay, and we'll definitely deliver no, all your certificates no, as soon as possible, right into your um, uh, inboxes, okay? So let's now explore, teachers, and start our exploration of Google Forms with an introduction to Google Forms, okay? Let us first um, define, no, and um, let's also first um, establish, no, ano nga ba itong Google Form na pinag-uusapan natin for today, okay? So unang-una, this is a productivity and collaborative tool from the Google Workspace for Education, no, for collecting data, Okay? Hindi naman nagbago ang definition natin ng Google Form. No? Since 2020, when we started our, or our, we had our first um, complete walkthrough of Google Forms, ganun pa rin naman. Okay? Um, it still is uh, the same tool that we um, used to get to know a no? uh, um, couple of years ago. Okay? And um, still an, a cloud-based application. So primarily online pa rin yung paggamit no? ng Google Forms. Natin. Although, okay, meron na po tayo mga ano, no? yung natawag nating offline modality soon sa ating Google Forms. So magagamit na rin natin itong Google Form natin in an offline mode. No? Plus, not, not to mention, okay, our Google Form is also now okay, able to uh, save our um, our answers. Okay? Kaya mas nadagdagan na rin no, yung kanyang functionality kasi dati lagi tayo nagmamadali on answering our forms okay? kasi baka mawala ng kuryente, mawala ng internet connection, okay? uh, at mawala yung mga sagot natin. But nowadays, teachers, especially for the use for assessments, okay? Um, Google Form already have the, what we call no, yung um, drafting um, capabilities, okay? So that's, teachers, no, what um, Google Form is in a basic fundamental definition, okay? And of course, teachers, kapag if you want to access Google Form, no, meron tayong couple of uh, access points sa ating Google Form. And the first access point natin kay Google Form is via the URL forms.google.com, okay? So that will bring us no, um, to our... Uh, to Google Form, okay? Um, Google Form can still also be accessed via um, uh, browser, pero unfortunately, teachers, na wala pa tayong um, uh, Google Form app na so far sa ating Android and iOS devices, okay? Kaya ang ating access point, if we're using it via our um, uh, mobile phones, okay, we still have to access it via our browser app, so um, in our mobile phones, okay? And of course, okay, Always, no, I always recommend no, using okay, ang tiyatawag nating um, ano, no, br um, uh, Google Chrome. Okay? Kasi yan pa rin ang ating uh, best um, partner, no, browser app for our um, um, uh, different Google Workspace tools, including, of course, Google Forms. Okay? And of course, it's isa rin sa mga access points natin sa ating Google Form as yung tinatawag nating waffle icon okay? or yung ating Google Apps Launcher na makikita po natin kapag nag-open po tayo ng ating mga browsers, upper right corner, okay? you will see your Google Apps Launcher. I will be bringing you that there in a little while okay? once we start exploring Google Forms. Okay? So yan po, teachers, no? yung ating mga access points. Okay? Uh, for our Google Forms, okay? Not as flexible as the other tools, okay? Pero, um, ano rin, no? um, can be accessed across different devices. So, hindi rin to nagpapahuli basta-basta ang ating Google Forms, okay? 
Now, let's talk about the um, advantages no, and strengths no, and weaknesses of um, this particular tool. Okay? So you have to understand that this is not a perfect tool. Okay? Uh, but definitely, this is also not your weakest tool because this is one of the best tools that we have in our Google Workspace system. Okay? Uh, among the strengths of uh, Google Forms, the first one is that it's fast and easy way of collecting data. Napakadali, no? Okay? Just give them the link. They answer it no? um, uh, on their mobile phones or tablet or computers. You collect the data right away. Okay? Hindi, wala na masyado ano, no? yung, yung conventional paperwork okay? and um, ano, no? yung waiting time okay? or the, the length of waiting time kasi online. Okay? Once your, uh, your respondents no, answer the form, you already get the results right away. Okay? Walang waiting time, no? walang idle time dun sa collection natin. Okay? Unless talagang intentionally your respondents would delay answering the form. Okay? And of course, Digitalized process, okay? So, ibig sabihin that data that we're collecting are already in the digital form. Wala na tayong conversion na kailangan gawin. Wala na tayong kailangan, ano, no, um, um, in a way, no, yung um, uh, conversion or digitalization na kailangan gawin for the data, okay, to be to be in a digital format, okay? And teachers, no, let us not forget that being in a digital format, okay, allows us so much flexibility on what to do with the data, okay? So, the data can easily be moved from one um, platform to another, can be um, analyzed no, in so many ways okay, using different applications because it's digitized okay, compared to having your data on a printed paper. Okay? And of course, inclusive. Okay? It does not like really choose no, the kind of profession, the age. Even a grade 1 student can easily answer a Google form. Okay? You don't even need to teach them how to use it because it's easy to use. Okay? Um, the, the, ano, no, the, the ease of use of Google form is true for all ages and, and true for all um, um, abilities, no? Okay, and of course, it's equipped with automated analytics. One of the best things, okay, that we have in Google uh, um, Form, no, is its ability to give us analytics. Okay, the moment someone answers a form, you already have the analytics. Okay? You already have data about their answers. Okay, so in a preview, of course, no, um, if you're using it for uh, statistical um, uh, analysis, no, you still have to use no the um, uh, the different statistical tools, okay? but okay, Google Form will already give you that much needed overview of what your data looks like. Okay, but of course, no, with its uh, strengths and um, uh, positive things, advantages, okay, also come some weaknesses. Okay, and the first one is that, of course, I must consider, you know, that's really one of the weaknesses of uh, Google Forms: the lack of mobile applications. It would have been nice, no, to actually have a dedicated um um application where you can actually create the form right there, okay? edit it. Okay? Uh, although, uh, technically, no, editing the form in the browser um, app no, does not really make it very hard, okay? but having a dedicated um, app for that, no, you can. it's definitely a plus. Okay? Plus, um, for respondents to access the form in a dedicated platform with a more um, mobile-friendly view, that would also definitely be a plus. Okay? But um, uh, teachers, no, you also have to take notice no, that whenever you open Google Forms in a laptop, in a desktop and in a mobile phone, it's also very adaptive. Okay, it changes its format. No? Okay, so whatever you see in your laptop or your tablet, it's different when you see it in your mobile phones. Okay, that's what we call adaptability. No, that you can access it or you can view it in different devices. Okay, relies though on paid uh, third-party applications for functions such, such as proctoring. So, meron mga kulang na functionalities. No, isa to sa pinakahinanap ng mga teachers natin during the pandemic when they were using Google Form. Uh, the idea of proctoring. Okay? And unfortunately, no, wala talaga tayong um, um, ano, no, um, built-in proctoring capabilities no, sa ating Google Form except, okay, except if you are using uh, what we call Chromebooks. Okay? So when you have a Chromebook and all your students have a Chromebook, okay, you can actually lock your, uh, the screen no, of your students so that when they're answering your form, they're only looking at the form. Okay, that's the benefit, no? So if you're ever going to explore, no, um, of having Chromebooks for your school, okay, that would be a very nice um, uh, upgrade for your school. Okay, although again, you'll have to spend no a little, um, a little while, a little bit, no, in terms of um, um, resources, no, to be able to purchase those Chromebooks. Okay, and of course, no, I'm um, still I'm looking for a limited um, customization options. Okay, although they added already, no, some 
some more uh, customization um, in Google Form. I think there's still uh, like there's some room for growth and some room for development when it comes to customization, such for example branding. Okay? I think it would be nice to, to completely brand no the form uh, according to the user's organization. I'm looking for example if my school would like to um, do a form to fully customize the form to our branding, like have our logos right there. Although you can put it in the banner, but the, um, there's a difference between like putting it like a really uh, dedicated space now for the logo, okay? even the themes no, and colors no, um, according to your branding. That would definitely be a nice upgrade for our Google Form. But other than that, your Google Form is an amazing, amazing tool. As was mentioned by some of our uh, teachers no, in the chat, no, um, sobrang... Um, na experience nila yung galing at saka ganda ng ating Google Form. Okay? So those are some of the things okay, that we have to consider no? okay? in, uh, in, uh, in using Google Form. Okay? So it has its own weaknesses and also strengths no, to play with okay, whenever you are using your Google Form. Okay? So let's now begin our exploration of the different features of Google Forms. Okay? So teachers, no, again, ang disclaimer siguro dito is that I'll be um, coming from a um ano um um a pre fresh perspective okay a beginner's perspective okay so that we can actually um uh, really you know, flesh out okay the different fe features of Google Forms so there are things that you already know okay you can um just like skip it okay? or uh pick you no know, whatever will be um necessary for you okay for those who are beginners or um uh, first users of Google Forms or hindi pa masyadong comfortable in using Google Forms now this is the time for you to learn all the different aspects of Google Form. And I promise you, we will try to, uh, you know, to flesh it out you know, as much as possible for all of you for today. Okay? So are we ready, teachers? Okay? Let's get into our Google, uh, Google Forms and explore the different features of our Google Forms. Okay? So to start, teachers, okay, let's begin with creating a form. Okay? But before we do that, Let's access our form, okay? And to access our form, again, we can always go no, um, and access our form using our, um, our URL, okay? Which is um, forms, okay? That google.com, okay? That should bring you to Google Forms, okay? So when you access your form no, using um, that, um, um, that um, URL, okay, you'll end up here, okay? So this is your uh, Google Form interface, okay? So this is where you can access no, a blank uh, form or even what we call yung mga templates natin, okay? And of course, as I mentioned, okay, meron din tayong access to our Google Form uh, via our uh, ano, no, um, Google Apps Launcher, okay? That's the nine dots no, or the waffle icon on the upper right corner, okay? You can actually also see it here sa ating um, Google Form interface, okay? Right there, okay? But uh, yeah, you can see it here that you can see Google Forms right there. Okay, so you can also access your Google Forms from there. Okay, and of course, tip din sa mga teachers natin kapag gusto natin na mag-start ng uh, bagong Google Form, okay, we can easily just type forms that new. Okay, so if you just type in forms that new like that, like like that, teachers, okay, it will actually open a blank form. So those are the different ways, okay, you can actually start a form. You can also start a form in your Google Drive, okay. So if you go to your Google Drive, okay, and um, create new file, no, okay, you can also create a um, a Google, I don't know, a Google form right there. Ano benefit if you are creating your form in your Google Drive, okay? When you do your, your Google Form in your Google Drive, you can already uh, organize it, okay? Because you can, for example, go to a particular, um, I don't know, uh, to a particular folder and create the Google Form right there. So the moment you create the form, okay, it's already been organized into a particular folder. So that's the only benefit, no, I'm uh, I'm looking at, no, or I can see when you start your form inside your Google Drive, okay? But otherwise, okay, you can use, no, or you can access your different Google, uh, your Google form on, uh, using those different methods, okay, of access, okay? Now, speaking of which, okay, so when you go to forms at google.com, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see, um, I don't know, um, this option, okay, to start a blank form, okay? So this is where you can start a blank form right here, okay? So you can see that uh, when you click that, that will open up the, um, um, a blank form, okay? But before we start a blank form and start our exploration, the different features of Google Form, let's first explore this because 
it's amazing to also know okay, na meron tayong template gallery. Okay? Ibig sabihin po nito, teachers, okay, you do not need to start from scratch. Okay? It means that you can actually already use preloaded, pre-designed, okay, and pre-formatted forms by Google. Okay? So for example, if you're looking for uh, evaluation form, exit tickets, etc., these are all now present no as, okay, as templates okay, in our Google form. Okay? So you can see here, for example, you have exit ticket, assessment worksheets, evaluation or course evaluation. You also have contact information, find the time, RSVP, party invite, a t-shirt sign up, etc. So all of these are already um I don't know um present. So ating mga um what do you call this? So ating mga HR kay, um personal. Okay, you also have forms here na pwede nyo nang gamitin no for uh, HR purposes. Okay, so mga job applications, etc. Okay, so those are forms no readily made no and readily available for you um for your use. Okay, but for this time of course. We can um uh we will now explore no a blank template. But by the way, no, okay, kung kayo po, by the way, I uh, if you're using um a domain okay, or a Google Workspace account, okay, please also take note that in your domain you can also build templates for your school. Say, for example, my school is Saver School. Uh, if there are um shared um uh, templates or Google Forms, okay, I should be able to access them. But again, for those templates to actually go here, it must be created no as a template in our domain, okay? Or uh, shared, no, publicly in our domain, okay? So, yeah. So, you can upload or create a, um, or submit a template right here for your domains. And if what happens now is that your um, co-teachers, colleagues should be able to access your templates in your domain. This is a perfect way, for example, uh, you're sharing templates to your school about registration or templates for assessments okay, or templates for um um i don't know um submissions okay, etc or regist um things like that you can already put it here and ask your uh, co-teachers no to just access it using your domain templates okay so that's another addition no, okay uh that's not actually present in our first walkthrough before okay now we have or we can build templates for our domain okay but for this demonstration let's start with um a exploration okay of a blank template okay so let me just go here and start a blank sorry not blank quiz okay let's start a okay lang. Sige, let's start with a blank quiz na lang, no? okay but um normally we can start also by default no we always start with a blank form okay not necessarily a blank quiz okay so balikan ko lang yon kasi baka malito tayo no? okay let me just go back here and uh, let's start from blank Okay, so the first one that we would like, uh, I would like to, uh, no, no, to uh, explore with us, okay, um, or with everyone, no, okay, is our question tools, okay? So, pag nagbibuild tayo ng ating Google Form, of course, okay, the first thing that you would be looking at, no, or seeing, okay, would be your question tools, okay? Ano mga questions or kinds of questions that you can build or you can use in Google Form? And let's take them one at each one of them, okay? So I will be demonstrating each of the kind of questions that you can use, no, in our Google Form so that you can really see exactly for what kinds of purposes, okay, and what kinds of, uh, I don't know, um, uses, okay, you can actually utilize this particular question because each question had their own uses, particular uses, advantages and disadvantages, okay? So you have to take note of those, okay? Not all questions, okay, were built or were designed in the same way, okay? So you will have to make sure uh, to use the proper question, okay? So let's get into our sample form and let's begin, okay? But before we do that, okay, by the way, okay, when you start a form, okay, the first thing that you have, you might want to do is to, of course, put a name on your form, okay? That's the first thing, no? Um, so that it gets to be recognized right away and it will have the proper labeling inside your Google Drive. Don't forget, all your forms will end up in your Google Drive, okay? So let's just um, say this, that this is a uh, demo, demo form. Um, and normally, the file name of um, the form now will be also copied into your title of the form, okay? So now, my form is also titled Demo Form. Can I edit that? Yes, you can. Okay, so say, for example, um, demonstration form for um, a webinar. Okay? Okay, so that's um, our, I don't know, um, sorry, demonstration, okay? 
of a form for a webinar. Okay, so you can actually differentiate you know, your the type the file name of your form to the title of your form. You can actually customize that. No, it doesn't need to be the same. Okay, but normally again uh, by default, no, kina copy nila yung isat isa. Okay, now. Uh, you can always um, customize this. You have your rich text editor right here um, um, at your disposal, okay? In order to dem um, to um, edit or format your title, okay? So you can um, use uh, bold, italics, underline, okay? Uh, for this, okay? You can even also link, no? Uh, a particular, you can also, also, also insert a link inside your title page. If there's, for example, links to a website, et cetera, you can also do it here, okay? Now, Aside from that, you can also do um, form description, okay? So um, if you want to, like, put description, what the form is all about would be actually nice, okay? Would actually be helpful in making or making your respondents know, understand exactly what the form is all about, okay? So it's not as if that you're just collecting information out of random, okay? So putting a description right there is actually a good uh, practice, okay? Now, let's get into our question tools, okay? So our question tools okay, um, could all be found no, somewhere on the right side of your um, of your panel, okay? So you can see it here. These are all your question tools, okay? So these are the tools that you can use in order to build or to add questions, okay? Or to add content into your form, okay? So let's take them one at a time, okay? So the first one, the first button that you'll be able to see here is the button to add the question. Okay, so every time you want to add a question, okay, you press that, okay, and it will generate a new question. Okay, so say for example, by default, now when you start a form, you will always get a first question. Okay, so now I have a first question here, and here, um, let's explore all the kinds of questions, okay, that we have under uh, or within no, the Google form, okay? And the first kind of question you're going to encounter in Google form is definitely multiple choice, okay? Yeah, okay? So multiple choice, ang una nating makita, okay? Now, what is multiple choice for? So basically, multiple choice is for questions that has a definite, that have definite um, answers, okay? So kung meron kayong question na may, uh, you want to put uh, distractors, okay? Um, and options, okay? then you have to use multiple choice, okay? And you use multiple choice if there is one definite answer, okay? Okay, so for example, okay, um, your question would be um, your gender, okay? That's our first question, okay? And your options, okay? You can put like female and male. Example like that, okay? Right now, no, meron na rin tayong sinasabing, uh, meron na rin tayong option, okay? Uh, pag nagkataan tayo ng gender, no, okay? Um, um, ano, no, um, yung undetermined, okay? Or would rather not tell, okay? So you could also do that, okay? So you can, or you can also put um, uh, options, no, okay? For them to actually put their own option, okay? So to add an option, okay? Um, or for them to type their own, okay? If you want to, uh, for them to determine their own option, okay? You can also have an open-ended option, okay? By clicking other, okay? So when you click on um, others, okay? That will now give them, okay? Um, I don't know, an option, okay? Let me just uh, erase this, okay? An option to actually type or indicate no on their own. Especially, for example, if you're asking for gender, especially lalo na ngayon, no, um, gender is such a like a wide spectrum. Okay, it's no longer like uh, it used before, no. Okay, so marami na yung mga um, uh, different um, options also nowadays. Okay, so we also have to respect that aspect. Okay, so that's your the basic um ano no, uh, format for multiple choice. Okay, but okay. Here are some things you know, that you might want to take note of, okay? When you are doing multiple choice, okay? When you go on the lower right corner, okay? Of your question, okay? Of that question box, okay? Right here, okay? Sa ating um, uh, question box, no? Or the um, editing box na ating question, okay? You will see a three dots, okay? That's what we call more options, okay? Or more uh, actions, okay? That's in a community, ang tawag po namin dyan, fishball, okay? Or we also call it uh, ano no, um, ano yung mga tawag natin dyan? Fishball, okay? Um, chocolate chips, okay? Yan mga tawag namin dyan, no? Para mas madali po matandaan, okay? So when you click that three dots, now that will actually lead, okay, to our other customization of your multiple choice question, okay? 
So, unang-una na pwede mong i-customize no, or um, add as a customization to your multiple, cho multiple choice question is yung tinatawag nating description. So, you can put descriptions. Okay? Now, okay, there's also an option to shuffle order. Okay? So, you can also pick that ano, no, um, or um, opt for the shuffle option order so that whenever students access the question, they will always have a uh, different order of the options, okay? That's the reason why teachers, okay? Um, dahil naman meron na tayong ano, no, clickable um, point no, dun sa ating um, um, form, okay? There's actually no need to put like A, B, C, D uh, in your options. You can easily just uh, randomize them, okay? So the, you could also use the shuffle or uh, option order. Kasi kapag naglagay tayo ng A, B, C, D sa ating mga options, mahirap siyang ishuffle kasi magbabago din yung order ng mga letters na yon. Okay? Now, this one, okay? Uh, this, the, the, one of the most special, okay? One of the most special aspect of um, a, the multiple choice question, okay? Is yung tinatawag nating go to section based on answer, okay? If you are familiar with branching, okay? Branching is um is I don't know and in the in the language of Google Forms, okay, is actually this, okay. So if you want to create like a branching in your form, uh, to redirect your your I don't know your users to particular sections of your form, you can actually do that by using the go to section based on answer, okay. So let's explore this one, teachers. How to do or how to use the go to section based on answer, okay. Now. To use this, okay, you will always have to begin with some, um, certain options. Alam niyo po ang pinaka nakikita kong um, um, application itong um, go to section based on answer is your evaluation form, okay? Di ba usually meron tayong mga iba't ibang evaluation for certain, okay? Say for example, um, meron tayong um, evaluation for parents, okay? Students and uh, teachers, okay? So for example, there's a program evaluation, okay? Um, and you'd like uh, the teachers, the parents, and the, the students you know, to evaluate the program, okay? Normally, we would create three forms for that, okay? But actually, there's no need for that, okay? One form can actually do that, okay? And you can do that by doing the branching or the go-to section uh, go to section based on answer. So say, for example, baguhin lang natin tong first question natin for the multiple choice, okay? Um, your, for example, ang tanong natin is your role, Okay? So your role, for example, is student, okay? um, teacher. Okay, the next option is tanggalatin tong other. <clears throat> Let's say teacher, and then the other one is parent. Okay, my parents. Okay, you can also do that. Okay, so now once you have set up, okay, your um, your options, okay, what you're going to do now is to create what we call sections. For each option. O, tandaan po natin ha. Yun po yung next step natin. Okay? Magkikreate po tayo ng section for each um, um, option. Okay? Kasi gagawin po natin. Okay? Kasi branching siya. No? Okay? We will redirect them into the, uh, to each section. So say for example, how to do a section. Meron po tayo one of our tools in our toolbar. Okay? Sa ating uh, question toolbar is yung tinatawag nating sections. Okay? So gagawa po tayo. No? Okay? Let's add a section for... The students, okay? So what's going to happen is that all the questions, okay, for the students will end up in this particular section, okay? And then, of course, we're also going to, um, I don't know, add one more, okay? Now, a section for teachers, okay? So you can see now, I know what I'm doing, okay? Um, I'm just simply adding um, a destination for each um, respondent, okay? And this one would be parents, okay? Okay. Okay. So um, now that we have destination for each um um I don't know um question or option, okay. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is to go to now go to our um 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 fishbowl icon, okay, or the chocolate chips icon, okay. Click on that one and then click on go to section based on answer, okay. So what's going to happen now is that you will now have the power, okay to redirect your respondents to a particular section once they choose a particular role. Okay? So talagang lagi, no, gumagamit tayo ng multiple choice to start the branching. Okay? So say, for example, si students okay, will all go to um, student section. Okay? Si teacher will all go to teacher section. And si, si parents no, will have to go to parent section. Okay? 
this way, okay, they will not see each other's evaluation. Okay? Magkakaiba sila ng evaluation form na sasagutan, pero isang form lang yung ginagamit natin. Okay? That's what we call, no, uh, go to section or go to section based on answer. So, it will minimize no, the need for multiple multiple forms. Okay? Um, pag nagpapa-evaluate tayo, for example, meron tayong uh, gustong i-launch na iba't ibang um, um, klase ng forms. Pero, by the way, no, okay, when you're using this as well, okay, kailangan it baguhin din po natin no, yung settings ng sections natin. Kasi sa ilalim ng sections natin, you will see here, after section 2, anong gagawin ni um, student? Since we want to hide, no? the other um, sections or we don't want them to answer the other sections, ang gagawin nyo po dyan, i-click nyo po yung drop-down menu at you can now choose them to be able to submit the form directly. Okay, so all of them will um, go directly no, to submit form. Okay, so hindi na po, si, for example, si student, hindi na siya dadaan sa teacher evaluation. Okay, si um, um, teacher, hindi siya dadaan sa student or sa parents evaluation. Okay, and again, okay, you have all of this in one form. Okay? It's easier to uh, collect data or information. Okay? So that's your first kind of question, okay? which is your multiple choice question. Okay? Ayan, let me just, uh, by the way, no, answer um, a question here um, in the chat. No? Pero mamaya po, by the way, no, sagutin ko lang ito ngayon, pero all of our questions, we will have an open forum later on. Okay? We can all ask a question later on. Okay? Um, um, sa paggawa po ng question, kapag ginamit po ba ang feature na shuffle per, per section po ba ito, ina-apply or sa lahat ng questions po sa G-Form po ma-apply regardless of sections and um, questions. Okay? Let's not forget po no, okay, that um, your, ano, no, your, um, you, there are two ways of shuffling. You're shuffling the options. Okay? You're also, you can also shuffle the questions. Okay? Mamaya po pupuntahan natin yung pag-shuffle ng questions. Okay? Now, pag nag-shuffle po tayo ng questions, that will be per section. Okay? Nag-shuffle po yung mga questions no, in a, each, each of the section. Okay? Kasi ang gusto po nating i-prevent no, um, in, uh, in shuffling is that people no, copying from each other. Okay? So we want them to access different questions at different times and different options at different times. Especially if we're going to use it for assessments. Okay? So I hope that I was able to answer your question. No? Mamaya po, babalikan ko ulit yan, Teacher Steven. Okay? Okay, next natin, um, next kind of question natin is yung tinatawag naman natin, okay? Na, mag-add po ulit ako ng question. So, every time you want to add a question, okay? You just simply tap on this add question, okay? Or, okay, pwede rin po tayo, no, kapag gusto natin, we can also do duplicate right there, okay? So, we can also easily use, no, the duplicate question. So, it will duplicate the question that we have on top, okay? So, if you click this, for example, that will also add a question. So, that's, those are different ways, no, of adding questions into your, uh, into your form, okay? But for this one, let's add a question no, from our toolbar, okay? By clicking the plus sign, okay? Now, I have added another question, okay? But this time, I would like to um, use, no, okay? Yung tiyatawag naman natin, okay? Check boxes, okay? So, let's click on check boxes, okay? Ano naman po ang check boxes, okay? So, check boxes naman po, um, the difference no, between multiple choice, okay? And um, check boxes, okay? Check boxes allows for more than one answer, okay? Kasi sa multiple choice, no matter what happens, isa lang ang pwede nilang piliin, okay? So, say for example, um, you have a question about I don't know, um, select um, all, I don't know, um, let's just say, for example, um, preferred, okay? Um, base, okay? For meeting, for a meeting. Okay. For example, you are, uh, I don't know, you want them to, um, um, or you're, you're, you're like creating a survey for the faculty, when's the best time to create uh, or to have a meeting, okay? Uh, by the way, no, meron na ring smart or um, um, artificial AI, no, ang ating Google Forms. It also detects, okay, um, suggestions, okay, if it does, it, uh, it detects no, that you want to insert certain content. Say, for example, right now, na-detect niya about I'm asking for days, so uh, nagtanong niya siya kagad, no, kung gusto ko bang i-insert itong mga options na to. So, not all, no, I'm going to insert Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, sorry, Thursday, 
and Friday. Okay? Siyempre, wala naman time dapat meeting pag Saturday and Sunday. Okay? Kasi weekend yun. Okay? And, so now, I have inserted the, the, ano, the, um, uh, the options. Okay? So now, um, respondents can now choose more than one. Okay? So they can choose like Monday, Tuesday, even all of them. Okay? That's, that's, the, that's the difference between multiple choice and checkboxes. Okay? But now, we also have a special feature you know, for our checkboxes. Okay? Because diba sometimes there are, op there are um, um, questions you know, that we want them to select more than one, okay? but there's a limitation to the number of, uh, num uh, number of answers that we want them to be able to select. Okay? So we can also limit them you know, uh, so that they, don't, they can't like, choose more than like, two or three or even four. Okay? To do that, okay? to customize your checkbox, naman, okay? punta ulit tayo dun sa ating um, uh, three dots, okay? sa ating uh, chocolate chips, cookies. Okay? When you click that, you will also have description here. Okay? Okay? But aside from the description, okay? you can also you know, shuffle order, same with multiple choice. Okay? But now, you have a special feature okay? in checkbox called response validation. Okay? When you click response validation, okay, you will now have an option okay, to, um, to determine okay, the number of options they can select. Okay? So you can limit it. No? You can uh, click the drop-down menu, um, select at least. Okay? So for example, kailangan hindi bababa sa dalawa yung kailangan nilang, at tatlo yung kailangan nilang piliin. So they have to choose uh, three or more. Okay? Or you can select at most. Okay? So yung... Uh, Gaano, ano yun, yung um, maximum number of options that they can select. Okay? And you can also even determine exactly how many. So, for example, dapat dalawa lang yung kailangan piliin. So, for example, dito, uh, we, uh, we want to only um, then to choose uh, at least three options para hindi naman sobrang varied ng ating ano, no, selections and data. Okay? And dito, whenever you encounter custom error text, that's actually a space to tell your respondents what's wrong about their answers if ever uh, their answers are invalidated or were invalidated by Google Forms. So you can say here, please choose only three options. Okay. Para alam ni respondent, no? ah, okay, three options lang pala. Yung aking, uh, three kailangan pala sa exactly three options, okay? Yung kailangan kong piliin. Okay? So that's the custom error text. Okay? So that um, your response would know exactly what's wrong. Okay? So that's your checkboxes. Okay? So again, very similar pero merong uh, very uh, distinct no, difference okay, between multiple choice and um, checkboxes. Okay? Okay. Next is um, our um, open-ended questions. We also have open-ended questions. Okay? in Google Form, okay? So let's add another question, okay, to uh, be able to demonstrate this, okay? So I have added a new questions once again here, okay? And now what I'm going to choose is these two, okay? I have two open-ended options, okay, in Google Form. Number one, it's short response, okay? Um, so the, basically, no, uh, ang difference lang to is the number of um, customization because short response had a different response validation. Paragraph no also have a different the response validation plus key, um, but technically, you no, know, uh, in terms of like spacing key and uh, answer scheme, uh, it's almost the same. Key, pero again, they have a different response validation. Let's take on first short response. Okay, and this is what I really love. No, one of the um, really nice uh, questions. No, and fully loaded. Um, um, I don't know special features uh, question. Okay, which is on. Um, short response, okay? So short response, ginagamit natin yan usually for asking for names, okay? mobile phones, okay? addresses, okay? etc. Okay? Um, questions without a definite answer, okay? Questions that are uh, ano, no, to be determined by the respondents, okay? So wala tayong um, ano, no, um, hindi, uh, hindi fix, okay? Yung mga answers that we are looking for, okay? Now, when you and when you use a res the short response, no, okay? meron ka rin mga customizations that you can do. No? So once again, punta tayo dun sa ating three dots, sa ating um, to our um, chocolate chips cookies. Okay? When you click that, you will see description. You can always uh, describe. No? This one, so sobrang useful. No? I recommend this for teachers, uh, for anyone who's using um, short response. Try to always put an instruction, okay, on how to answer your question. Say, for example, you put a name, okay? For example, my question is a name, okay? Now, 
what I usually do, if I have a proper format that I want, no, I would put that in a description. Say, for example, in the description, I'm going to put uh, following this format. Okay? So that your respondents no, would know exactly no, how to uh, respond. Okay? For example, my format is last name first. Okay? And then, um, comma, um, sorry, first name. They would know. Okay? They would see it in the description. What's the format of your name? Because or otherwise, uh, or, or I don't know. Um, otherwise, they would put in random format. And you will have a hard time uh, uh, splitting them, analyzing them, grouping them, um, or organizing them in your uh, data later on. Okay, so having the proper format would actually be very nice. Okay, so that's the first one. No? You can definitely use that um, in using your short response. Okay. And of course, nandito rin tinatawag nating response validation. This is what I really love about, um, short response, no? The amount of validation that at your disposal. Okay. So you can go here and click, um, a response validation and you can now, uh, validate, no, the response. Okay. What do we mean by validation? Similar to what we encountered earlier. Okay. The validation, basically the response validation. Okay. Uh, filters the answers of your respondents. Okay, so basically Google Form, okay, we already filter if um, uh, your respondents are entering the correct answer. Okay, or the, the I don't know, the, not the correct answer, but uh, the proper um, I don't know, information. Okay, so if, for example, if you're collecting for a number, you can definitely determine it's a number. Okay, so by choosing, for example, number, you can also determine, for example, if you're looking for a text, okay. Uh, very useful yung text, no? When you choose text, you can actually um, customize it to just accept uh, or contain certain words or doesn't contain certain words, okay? Or you can even determine it to collect it, no? Or um, to filter it to collect uh, just email, okay? And that's a very, very smart way, no? Kasi kapag nag-enter sila doon ng email that are invalid, okay? Or email that doesn't contain the at sign, okay? It will be invalidated. The form will not be accepted by Google Form, okay? You can even also enter here URL. This is um, what I usually use, okay? Whenever I ask my students to submit, um, um, I don't know, uh, links for their projects, okay, for their assessments. Say, for example, I'm asking them to submit a link to their uh, Google Docs, okay, or Google Slides, okay? I would ask them to um, 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 answer Google Form, okay? And I would um, set this response validation for my form. So no random things okay because sometimes if it's not um, validated they would um, insert like images okay? um photos okay or random things no um to make it seem they have submitted something okay but this time uh we can at least you no know, filter those things okay and of course kapag nag response validation din tayo no okay we can also enter custom error text okay um for for no for um for um, for our respondents so that they would know exactly why they're wrong. Say, for example, if you choose like email, okay, then please like put here, please enter a valid email. Okay. So they would know that if they're wrong, okay, they would know that uh, that's why I'm wrong. Okay. So I'm going to enter a valid, um, a valid email. Okay. So they would be properly guided. Okay. Now, Another thing that you might want to explore, because, but right now, no, we can't really fully explore because it contains several coding and it, it actually no, uh, takes some time to fully understand. But there's also an even more um, advanced no, okay, way of validation. Okay? This is what we call the regex okay, or the regular expression. Okay? This one, okay, when you choose regular expression, that is when you actually determine exactly the kind of answers that you want in the proper format, in the proper uh, I don't know, uh, numbers and characters, etc. Okay? So you can choose regular expression if you want to have more focus validation. Okay? You can choose, for example, um, um, answers that contains, doesn't contain, matches, or doesn't match. But... Here's what's a little bit complicated to regular expression. You have to insert certain patterns, okay? So merong little bit of coding that's going to happen here, okay? But the good thing is that, okay, you already have some, I don't know, um, uh, information um, uh, from the internet, okay, that you can use. Say, for example, this one, okay? This is, um, um, I don't know, a, a website, uh, help.hkis.edu.hk, um, okay? 
Uh, it has a collection of the different patterns that you can use. Say, for example, if you want to collect postal address, okay, ito yung format niya. You just have to copy it in the pattern. If you're collecting, for example, zip code, okay? if you're collecting, for example, date, although meron na rin tayong question for date, no? okay? email address, okay? pwede na, but again, meron na rin tayo for that, no? collecting email address, okay? URL, okay? you can also um, set character limit, okay? uh, phone numbers, if you're collecting phone numbers in a particular format okay? with a plus sign, okay? and area code, you can also copy this format, okay? Etc. So these are the kinds or uh, the patterns no, that we use for the regex or the, um, I don't know, the, um, um, what they call this, um, to determine uh, certain specific answers. Okay, ito talaga mas specific pa no, compared to the different um, pa, ano, no, um, validations that we're setting up. Okay, that's for if you are looking for, um, uh, I don't know, to validate certain answers. And that would actually help you no, to collect a certain amount of information with accuracy. Okay? Para hindi po tayo nagko-collect na ng mga random information. Okay? At uh, we can definitely collect collect no um, useful information. Okay? So that's for your short response. Okay? So very, very useful. Okay? Para po kahit open-ended yung questions natin, okay? we can always determine no, um, uh, ano, no, um, set, or set some parameters no, to the kinds of answers that we will be collecting from them. Okay? Now, Speaking of kanina, no, sabi ko nga, no, pareho lang naman talaga uh, almost no, uh, yung um, short response sa paragraph. Pero magkaiba kasi sila ng available response validation. Okay? So if I add another question here okay, and I choose paragraph, okay, I would have the same, almost the same thing. No? Okay? Although nakalagay lang dito is long, risk, long answer text. Okay? Um, now, when you go to the three dots okay, of a paragraph okay, question, okay? Um, and you choose response validation, okay, you would get a different no, uh, response validation. This time, you can actually um, determine these few things. Okay? Length and, of course, also no, similar then. Meron siyang avail available din sa paragraph, yung regular expression. Okay? This one is what, before kasi, you also, we have a formula for regular expression, pero mukhang nawala. No? Hindi na gumagana yung expression, na ginaga yung pattern na ginagamit namin before. Uh, using regular expression to determine the LRN. Okay? Kasi di ba ang LRN natin, 12 digit lang. Okay? So if, what if we want our students no, to make sure uh, that their uh, LRNs no, are um, 12 digit? No? Okay? So you can use regular expression for that. Kaya lang, again, nawala namin yung pattern. No? Okay? I'm going to get back to you uh, with that no, soon. Okay? Pero um, you can also use the length no, for that sa mga LRNs natin and just determine... Okay? the maximum uh, character count say for example we're looking for 12 no numbers okay so and you can say here please enter 12 your 12 tama po ba no please do correct me if i'm wrong no? alam ko 12 digit ang lrn sa mga students natin please enter your 12 digit okay lrn okay okay so you can do that okay so those are ways not to also help you uh, collect no more accurate information okay so that's um, I don't know, um, some of our, our, our questions, okay? Um, Open-ended questions, okay? Now, let's move on to some of the other questions available for us, okay? And this time, okay, we'll be looking at questions that we can use for um, uploading files, okay? So meron din tayong mga questions, no, na, na pwede gamitin to actually deliberately collect files, okay? So if you click on again, plus sign, this time, we'll be selecting file upload, okay, right there, okay? So when you choose naman file upload, okay, what it does is that it actually allows you to collect no, certain files, okay? So when you continue, by the way, no, please take note that all of the files, okay, that you will be um, collecting in this form, okay, when you um, do an, a file upload, okay, uh, will be stored in your Google Drive. So please do take note because it will take a hit on your Google Drive, okay? So make sure that you uh, are collecting, you know, not so, lalo ng mga video, for example, na po, napakabibigat po niyan, okay? Kung video po, ipa-upload na po natin sa YouTube, okay? Not in Google Drive because it's going to weigh so much on your Google Drive, okay? So say, for example, ano yung mga usual natin na um, um, uh, file upload, no? um, um, PDF submission, for example, okay? 
So we are asking, for example, for them to submit a PDF uh, requirement, okay? So you can actually do that here, okay? And what's good about um, a file upload here is that you can actually fully determine the kind of files that they can submit, okay? Para hindi po sila pwedeng random na nagsasubmit ng kung ano-ano, no? okay? So they, they can submit, for example, if it's a PDF, we can fully determine it's just a PDF, okay? They can submit a presentation or a document or a video or an audio or whatsoever, okay? It, not, it must just be a PDF, okay? And you can also determine the number of files that they can submit, okay? So um, the number of times, no? of course, for example, if just a one file, then you can simply say one file or just five or ten files, no? okay? And since it's going to weigh on our computer, might as well no? Uh, set a limit to the number of MB that each file will actually have, okay? So you can choose from 10 MB, um, 1 MB to 10 MB to 10 M to 100 MB to 1 gigabytes or to 10 gigabytes. Of course, okay, uh, you don't want no, um, a maximum of 10 gigabytes because that will definitely no, uh, eat up so much of your storage, okay? And what I really love no, about file upload of Google Drive, of Google, sorry, Google Form, is that it's automatically curated, okay, into your Google Drive. The moment you create a file upload okay, uh, question, it automatically creates a Google Drive folder in your Google Drive no, where all submissions are properly curated. You will not be looking for it in your Gmail, in some other places. No, It's there. Okay, And it's actually, there's a shortcut in your question. When you access that, that will also link you to the folder no, where all the answers are located. Okay, That's very neat no, uh, when it comes to collecting um files okay but of course no when you're collecting file make sure that you also create no separate um questions for each file that you're collecting or else you'll also be mixing up all your files okay now for its customization you can always put description right here okay so you can also instruct for example upload a pdf version of your uh file okay that's for file uploading okay have been really using that and very, very useful no, sa mga forms po namin sa Kaagapay Teacher Support. Okay? Next set of questions. Okay? Our next set of questions are questions that you might be, uh, be able to use okay? when it comes to um, ano no, evaluation. So ito po yung mga ginagamit natin for evaluation. Okay? So if you're, for example, evaluating programs, evaluating um, your courses, okay? evaluating um, an assessment, etc., okay? you definitely have to use these particular questions, okay? So, meron po tayong tatlong options, okay? For, uh, that we can use, no? Okay? When we are, ano, no, um, uh, creating evaluation forms, okay? And that would be number one, okay? The linear scale. Let's explore that, okay? Piliin natin, no? Okay? At para mapakita po natin anong itsura ng linear scale, okay? So, linear scale basically, no, um, creates a range between, uh, you can create from zero, okay? Um, to up to ten. Okay, so that those that's a range that you can create, no? So that's going to be up to you. Okay, so basically you're giving your uh your I don't know, your respondents, okay, uh sort of a range, no? Okay, where to choose their options. Say for example, from poor to excellent. Okay, so um zero being poor, um to five being excellent. Okay, uh etc. So that's the kind of range. Of course, wala po ilalagay sa gitna, no? Okay, that's going to be an estimate on the the end of your respondents. Okay. So say, for example, you're looking for evaluate okay? um, the, uh, the, I don't know, the speaker, okay? for example. Okay? So you can put here 1 to 5, okay? and then you can label no, what does 1 mean. Okay? For example, 1 means poor, okay? and 5 means excellent. Okay? This is a must, po, no? okay? kahit nakalagay doon optional, pero dapat must po yan kasi that will make your, I don't know, your, uh, your ano, your respondents know exactly what the range means. Okay, they know that from one it's poor, from five it's excellent. Okay, so they can properly choose. Okay, so that is how you do a linear scale uh, question for evaluation. Okay, next one is um, by the way, no, um, ang customization din lang yan is description. Okay, so there's no other customization for linear scale. Okay, next one is we also have. Um, Mag-add pa tayo ng new question, okay? Next one, for evaluation, you also have multiple choice grid, okay? Now, multiple choice grid is a perfect to, ano, no, um, question format for evaluation kasi 
hindi na occupy no uh, ng buong form ng buong questions nyo okay yung form kasi usually for example uh, you have several factors to evaluate no like your your program your your time your your pacing uh, maybe your ano your audio and technical aspect as well okay um, if you have separate questions for each of the element it will definitely be a long form okay but by using a multiple choice grid okay you allow yourself to uh, you allow your respondents no, to evaluate several factors okay, in just one question okay let me show you so say for example in row uh, in rows no okay it's where we actually use um, or put okay, our ano no, our um, um, our factors for uh, that we want to be evaluated say for example we um, we want to evaluate a speaker okay um, venue um pacing okay um audio okay or audio visual lagay na lang natin okay okay so basically for example those are your elements okay now for the columns you'll have to put um into what respect no they will be evaluated okay say so for example okay uh, we put poor okay um satisfactory okay and then here we put good okay sorry okay and then we have Excellent. Medyo nag-jump lang po ng konti, no? pero I hope that you, uh, ano, no, and again. And when you look at that, no, ang itsura po niyan, okay, kapag tinina natin yung, um, yung multiple choice grid na yan, okay, is it looks like that. Okay. Okay. So now, we are evaluating four factors, speaker, venue, pacing, audiovisual, in just one question with different options. Okay. Now, one of the things that you have to remember is that when you do multiple choice grid, respondents can only choose one for each factor. So kapag sinabi yung speaker, uh, the, the, ano, no, um, the, um, what they call this? The, um, the respondents cannot choose like poor and dissatisfactory. Okay? So kailan talaga isa lang. Okay? Now, when you want, um, when you want, them to be able to choose more than one okay say for example um your your opening no more for more options then ang choice po natin dyan, kapag maraming sagot okay would be the multiple sorry the checkbox grid naman okay so in a very similar manner okay um ang difference lang is that they can choose more okay so pwede po silang pumili no ng iba't iba pang mga factors okay so say for example um Ang ano natin dito is um, if you want uh, to evaluate no um ano yung mga excellent aspect pwede mong pagbaligtad rin for example kay nasa rows mo naman yung um, mga ano mga ratings okay and then uh, you have your different factors naman in your columns okay so you can do that no para mas makapili sila madami but again same thing lang naman yun okay but again the 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 core difference that in your multiple choice your checkbox grid your respondents can choose more than one. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, difference, no? Ng ating multiple choice grid at ng ating um, checkbox grid, no? Ang ating, um, um, what do you call that, okay? Customization for multiple choice grid. We can also put description, okay? And we can also, no, limit to one response per column. Okay? So, we can also do that, no? Okay? So, um, yun nga, no? Nakalimit siya to one response. And of course, we can also shuffle the row order. Okay? So, pwedeng magpalit-palit na no, yung speaker venue. But of course, in this case, hindi naman kailangan. Okay? This might be useful kapag tayo ay nagpapa-assessment. Okay? So, we can also do that. Okay? Uh, so, those, that's for your evaluations. Ito yung mga ginagamit po dapat natin no, kapag nagpapa-evaluate tayo ng mga programs, policies, courses, etc. Okay? So that's our ano no, third set of question, okay? Okay, mamaya po natin pag-usapan niya no, yung mga um, putting points. Okay, we will talk about that later on. That's a different um, aspect po, okay? For now we're just um uh, explaining no uh, the different kinds of questions that we have, okay? Ngayon, um what we uh, our next ano no, set of questions, okay? Let's um um create a new question, okay? Our next set of questions now would be on the date and time. Okay, so if you are now also asking for a, a specific uh, date, no, that's, um, you want that calendar appears, okay, into that question, you can actually insert a date question. Okay, so in this case, 
um, lalabas yung calendar where they can choose. No? Say, for example, you can put like birthday. If you're asking for birthday, no, parang hindi na kailangang i-type and it's already in the proper format. Okay, so you can do that. Okay? You can also add time okay, wherein um, you can um, ask them no, to um, indicate the time. No? Okay? For example, if this is like an attendance form that you, are, uh, that you are using or you'll be using this for your attendance form, then you can ask them to indicate the exact time they entered the classroom or they, they entered your Google Meet or your Zoom. Okay, so they can also do that. Although, technically, kapag nagsagot po sila ng, ano, no, ng form, may timestamp naman yun. Kaya lang, medyo siyempre, pag late nilang sagutan yung form or matagal sila sa form, late din yung timestamp nila. Okay, so you can also use the time no, to determine certain um, ano, no, um, time elements okay? or time, data about time naman. Okay, so that's those are teachers, no, okay? Some uh, of the questions, okay? The questions, okay, that are at our disposal when we are building our Google form, okay? So, madami point. And again, iba-iba sila ng functions nila, no? And they are, they have different um, um, benefits and uh, advantages and disadvantages, okay? So, let's make sure that we always choose the proper question for each um, um, uh, ano, no, particular purpose. Okay? Now, before we move on okay, uh, to other ano, no, aspect of our question tools, okay? let's also not forget that sa each of our questions, meron po tayong mga tools na, na pwedeng gamitin. Andiyan na yung duplicate natin. Okay? We also can delete the question easily. And we can also toggle this button called required. Okay? That is actually a very, very good um, ano, no, um, feature of Google Forms so that they cannot... When you say required, no, that questions become that question becomes unskippable. Okay, so it means the respondent cannot move on, okay, to the next question or to the next section unless they have answered that question. Okay, but also please take note because some of the teachers, naman, okay, or some of the uh, ano, users, okay, ng Google Form natin, okay, they toggle that button, but unfortunately, it's not answerable by everyone, so no one can move on to the form. Okay, so you make sure. That when you ask or you uh, set no, a question as required, it's actually answerable. Okay, Because if it's not answerable, then your respondents will not be able to move on and will not be able to submit the form. Okay, So that's teachers, no? okay, our um, set okay, for, um, for our questions no? or um, the different questions okay, that we can use. Okay? Okay, moving on. Okay, to our question tool. Medyo madami pa to, no? Okay? We also have... Okay, um, Import questions. This is what I really love, no? Okay? Um, in the last year's update of Google Form, that we can already import questions. So once we create a question or we, we create a form, okay, uh, we can import the questions from that form. Okay. So when you click this button here, okay, which uh, says import question, okay, when you click that, that will open up to a um and then to select a selection, okay, wherein you will be asked to select a form that you want to import questions from, okay? So say, for example, let's lift this question right here, okay? And let's select that, okay? When you select that, lahat ng questions from that form, well, sorry, no, okay? Uh, the, all of the questions from that form will appear, okay, on the right side panel of your uh, form that you're doing, okay? So right now, for example, right there, okay? Zoom in ko lang, right there. So you can see it from here. I can select all the questions, okay? I can also, like, focus on certain questions only, okay? And once I'm done, I'm going to simply select or, or click on import questions. And that will now push this particular question into my form. Say, for example, okay, select natin. You can also select an entire section, okay, if you want, okay? Um, but you, that's really up to you, no? okay? So say, for example, I'm going to select this, okay? And then click import questions, okay? Right there, it has been inserted into my form. That's how easy it is, okay? So what I'm thinking, teachers, no, this will be very useful. Uh, say, for example, you are, um, you have a team, okay? And you are um, working on collaborating on an assessment. You can actually build your data bank of questions in Google Form, okay? And then teachers simply just add uh, the questions you know, from the data bank, okay? Into your test. Okay, especially for example, if you want to create like different sets for your test, okay, or different sets for your assessments, this is a perfect ano, venue to actually do that. Okay, okay, so um, that's for importing questions. No, 
a really nice addition to our Google Form. Okay. Next one, you can also add a title. Okay. Or description. So every time you want, for example, to have a heading, uh, you can add that you now by clicking this button, add a title or description. Okay. So basically, the one that you're looking at on top, this one, okay, with the title demonstration form for a webinar, that's basically a title, uh, a title of the ano, no, or title text. Okay. So you can that's if you want to add more of that, you simply have to um to click on that um title or add title, okay. Um, into your form, okay? Now, aside from that, we can also insert question, ah, sorry, image, okay? So you can insert image here as well, okay? Or videos. And what I love about this function is that you can actually use this for flip learning, okay? So teachers would usually, uh, I don't know, or users or especially educators, no, would simply look at Google Form as a way to collect information. But actually, um, Google Form is also perfect for flip learning, okay? Wherein, for example, you load a video here and right off the bat, no, okay, when they watch the video in Google Form, they would answer several questions, okay? That is actually a good, good way of flip learning, okay? Where they process information before they come into your class, okay? And then process it in school. Especially right now, teachers, that we are approaching hybrid learning, okay? There would still be some aspect of our... Um, I don't know, uh, curriculum and encounters okay, being done um, uh, I don't know, asynchronously or um, uh, I don't know, um, offline okay? or uh, outside of the classroom. Okay? So that would be very helpful. So pwede pong gamitin for instructional purposes ang ating Google Form. Hindi lang po siya for survey, etc. Okay? And the last one, the last I don't know, um, tool from our question toolbar okay, would be our um, sections. Okay? Now, what are section for, okay? um, sections for? Okay? Section is a perfect way okay, to create the vision okay, into your form. Okay? Because before, I don't know if you have encountered this already, meron na akong na-encounter na form okay, that has 50 questions okay, na tuloy-tuloy. Okay? From like question number one to question number 50, non-stop questions. Okay? And that's really a hard thing uh, to do, no, or a hard thing to, to answer, okay? So let's not do that, okay? So for example, if you have like 50 questions, okay, then you partition them per section, like quest, first 10 questions, and then create a section for that, okay? And the next section, okay, uh, next, ten, uh, next 10 questions, and then another section, okay? That allows your respondents to breathe uh, while they're answering your form, no? Not like a, you know, on a continuous uh, 50 questions no, that they have to answer. That's overwhelming. Especially if you're doing that no, uh, for an assessment. Plus, teachers, okay, just a tip for our educators, having sections is also a good way of um, ano, no, um, monitoring no, your, their progress. Okay? And also that so that they cannot like, see all the questions in one go. Okay? That's teachers, no, okay? uh, the, the purpose of sections. Okay? So I always use that. Okay? So I never, I, don't know, I never give. Okay? Um, more than five questions in one section. Okay, always make sure I partition my questions properly no, for my respondents' benefits. Okay, so that's four sections. Okay, so we're now done, teachers, no, with our um, um, question tools. Okay, so those are all of the tools no, that you can use and that are your, at your disposal no, um, in making your, um, your questions. Okay, next one. Okay, let's move on to customization. Okay, what if, okay, I want to fully customize, no, of course, no, to put like some branding into my form. Okay? Now, to do this, okay, teachers, okay, we now have a dedicated no, customization bar okay, on top of our Google form. Okay? So if you want to customize your form, you just have to go here. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have, uh, click on Customize Theme. When you click that, now Google form has recently added okay, this customization. Okay? So you can also now customize the sizes, okay, the font style of your header, of your question, and of your text. Say, for example, for our header, we're going to use um, Century Gothic. Uh, that's going to be font. Um, ang ating maximum is 24. For our question, I also would like Century Gothic though. Okay? Let's just make it though smaller okay, for the questions. Okay? Uh, let's say, uh, let's set it to... Okay, our maximum is 18. Let's set it to 16. Our text, for example, uh, let's let's change this. Let's say, for example, set this to Arial and let's set it to uh, to 12. 
Okay? Now, your, ano, no, your text will have different. No? As you can see here, mas malaki na ngayon yung aking mga questions. Okay? Compared to the text of the options. Okay? So that now brings a little bit more of um, ano, no, um, visual, um, uh, ano, no, um, a more pleasant no? uh, uh, visually okay? for our um, respondents. Okay? Plus, madaling makita na mas malaki yung questions compared to the options. Hindi yung pare-pareho sila ng uh, text size. Okay? Another way to customize your um, your ano, your uh, form, okay, is to go and add a header. Okay. Now, teachers, okay, one tip, no, okay, you can always build a header, okay, in in uh, in Google Slides, okay, in um, in Microsoft PowerPoint presentations, okay. Pero wag na po tayong masyadong lumayo, no, okay, at magpakahirap, okay. You can actually download, customize, and create. Okay? your headers no or your Google Forms headers okay sa loob ng Canva okay yes no diyan din po ako gumagawa no ng aking mga customized um, uh, Google Forms um, headers okay sa aking sa Canva okay ang size lang po ang size po kasi okay the size of the headers of Google Form is almost the same as the Google Classroom banner so what i use would be the Google Classroom banner right there. Okay, so gumagamit ako no or gumawa lang ako ng Google Classroom banner size scheme okay? and I customize it right there. Okay? And that would usually be no the one that I would add. Say for example, if I download this game okay? and um, let's just add, download this um, this image game. Okay? Now, once the image is in your desktop, now you can already upload that no um into your form. Okay? So I can add that as a header, okay? I'm going to go over and click um, add um, a header, okay? And then upload photo. You can, of course, choose from the themes, from the photos of Google Form. You can do that, okay? But this time, I'm going to uh, upload mine, okay? So as you can see, it's the perfect fit, okay? Um, and you just click done, okay? So once you click done, it will now be added, no? Or customized uh, the header of your form, okay? And of course, what's also good about this is that um, Google Form will also suggest certain colors, no, from the from the scheme, okay, um, from the palette, no, of your um, um, header, okay, na pwede mong gamitin para match, no, okay. So for example, pwede mong gamitin. But of course, you can also add colors here if you want, okay. Kung ayaw mo naman yung suggested colors, okay. You can always also add background colors, although the background colors is limited, okay, to the ano no um. Uh, to the suggested ones, okay? I think the rationale for this is that Google Form does not want you to commit the, ano, the mistake over the background, um, the, the contrast of the background, okay? So it always makes sure that the background is uh, lighter, no? Compared to the form, okay? So you can, but still you can choose some certain, um, ano, no, um, uh, shade, no? Ng ating, um, ng background natin, okay? So now you can see that my form, is more customized, okay? So it has more branding, okay? Etc. Okay? So it's a more a bit a little bit more pleasing, you know. Hindi siya lagi yung yung usual natin na na purple, okay? Color ang ating uh, form, okay? Yan, okay? Totoo po, no, Teacher Rose Malen. Ayan na, okay? Uh, meron tayong ano no different form ano, and of course no we love ako rin personally Teacher Rose Malen, no, I love um century gothic as well, okay? So that's one way. That's ways not to customize your um your your form. Okay, that's uh, how we do it. Okay, okay. Next one okay, that we would like to talk about is previewing your form. Say, for example, you've loaded your um your uh, your questions. You have customized your form. Okay, the next step is for you to check if the form actually works. Never, never forget this. Okay, uh, because this is a perfect way, no, um, to check if the form is actually working. Okay. Um, because the form, no, okay, um, preview, previewing your form would actually know, especially if it's an assessment, if you would be able to check if the point system is correct, okay, you will be able to check if um, the answers are, 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 are set, okay, you would be able to check um, the, the wordings, etc., if all the questions, especially, for example, if you've set a branching, you can definitely check it as well, okay. So when you do, when you want to preview your form, just have to go here and click on the upper right corner, you will see here, the preview button, okay? And what's going to happen? It's going to, uh, I don't know, to bring you to a view form. So this is exactly what your respondents will see. Okay? So yan yung makikita nila. Okay? Okay? That's exactly what your viewers will be able to see. Okay? That gives you a perfect view of 
um, um, or to, ano, to evaluate if the form is actually working or is actually good okay, before launching it. Kasi ang hirap po minsan kapag nag-launch po tayo ng form, may mga mali pala because the data will already be there. Okay? So it's hard to uh, retract no? uh, once uh, data started to um, start no? to, uh, to flow in or starts to flow in into your form. Okay? That will be, okay, that's why, um, of course, ako rin personally, no, I still commit mistakes, pero I still make sure, okay? Um, I double check my form as much possible, no? I triple check it if, if, if possible, so I would not like have to repeat the form no? again. Okay? So that's for uh, your um, previewing the form, okay? Next one is on sharing the form, okay? So how do we share the form, okay? So what if um, uh, we're all done, okay? Uh, and we are ready to, um, to share the form, okay? Now to share the form, okay, we have different options, okay? Um, to share the form, you have just have to go here. So upper right corner, okay? Meron tayong send button, okay? When you click that send button, okay? That will open the option for sharing, okay? So there are different ways of sharing. One, you can share it by email, direct, the direction sa email ng isang um, ng respondents mo, okay? Um, second, okay? You can um, also um, use the link, okay? You can also shorten it, okay? If it's not short enough, you can always use the different um, URL shorteners. Okay? Ako po, ang, ako, ang personally, dalawa lang naman ang ginagamit kong URL shortener for all my links. Okay? I would usually use um, tinyurl.com, this one. Okay? So I would paste my uh, link here and I would um, be able to customize the back end of my link. Okay? You can also explore Bitly. Okay? Uh, Bitly is also a good one. Okay. Um, um, though sometimes may some inconsistencies about Bitly, so nagkakaroon ako ng problema din. Okay? So this one is Bitly naman. Okay? So you can also use this in order to shorten your forms. Okay? So those are, uh, th th that's ano, no? sharing your form via a link. Okay? You can also embed, no? so for example, meron kang, um, meron kang mga websites, okay? you, can, uh, you want to embed your form, okay? you can also do so. Okay? Although right now, dahil meron tayong upload uh, question, no, hindi, ka pwede, hindi mo pwede i-embed itong form na to, okay? So only forms without an, a file upload question can be embedded into websites, okay? including Google Sites as well. Okay? Pero meron pang mga ibang ways no, to actually share your form na mas madali. Okay? Uh, and that would be using Google Chrome's QR code generator to share URLs. Diba? Nag-share tayo URL, okay? Uh, why not okay, use you, uh, ano, no, the, um, Google Chrome's UR, QR code generator? Okay? So say, for example, okay, meron akong form right here, right? Okay? What I'm going to do to be able to generate a QR code for this? Okay? Yes po, pwede tayong mag-generate ng QR code for this particular form. Hindi na po kailangan pumunta sa iba pang mga QR code generator. No? What you're going to do okay, is to preview the form. Okay? So gawin natin, i-preview natin yung form. Once lumabas yung preview, okay, you will be able to see no um, on top of your tool uh, sorry on your address bar, okay. Hindi ko lang po zoom in no, kasi that's not part of the um, of the Google Chrome uh, that I can zoom in, okay. But you would should be able to see there, okay, a sorry, close ko lang po ito, okay. Um, you should be able to see there, okay, a uh, an icon with a box with an arrow up. When you click that you can actually uh, send this particular link no, to different people based at using different options like link, send to your devices. You can even cast it no, uh, to devices. But here it is. No, meron, ka na, meron na tayong QR code generator sa ating Google uh, Chrome. Now, when you click that, it will now... Um, I, I don't know if it's showing right now, no, but that should now... When you click um, that option, okay, it should also show... Um, the QR code. Okay, let me just uh, repeat that and see if it's actually showing as well. Ah, hindi siya nag I think it's not showing, no? Okay? But anyway, um, yes, no? Okay? Uh, you can definitely, no, use the QR code generator of Google Chrome as well. Okay? Pero kailangan naka-view form po siya. Do not generate your Google, your uh, QR code, no, habang nasa editing form kayo or else, teachers, ang masishare niyo po, is the editable version of your form. Okay? Magkakagulo po yan. Okay? So you want the view form. Okay? So kailangan naka-preview po siya. Yung preview ang isi-share natin. At yun yung gagawa natin ng QR code. 
Okay? So, I hope that's clear, teachers. No? Kasi, recently lang, meron akong uh, na-encounter na, na nag-share ng QR code ang na-access namin yung editable version. Okay? So, walang makapag-evaluate. Okay? Next one. You can also explore... Uh, sometimes, di ba, nag-share tayo ng mga template, ng Google Form templates natin. Example, a template for registration, a template for this, no? Okay? Hindi na po natin kailangang mag-share, okay? Ng, ano, no, ng, ng template as we will uh, have to ask them, okay? Okay, make a copy of this. Please do not edit the original, okay? Do not do that because at one point or another, okay, your, uh, the, ano, no, the, some of your users, okay, okay, kung sino man yung nakatanggap nung, uh, nung copy, will edit yung um, will edit uh, the original form, okay? So before they even edit it, okay, wag niyo na pong i-share yung editable version. If you're sharing a template of a Google form, here's what you do, okay? When you open your form, okay, you will see on top no address, okay? An address, right? Uh, all forms will always have an address, okay? On the address bar, okay? In the um, Google community, we call that the Omnibox, okay? Now, in that address bar, okay, Sa dulo ng address bar po, at the end of the address bar, you will always see an edit. Okay? The word edit. Okay? Now, by simply changing that word edit into copy, that makes that form now will become, okay, uh, that will generate a make a copy of that form. Let me show you an example. Okay? So, say for example, this form, okay, I can you can see no in my form right now okay meron meron akong edit dun sa dulo okay if i just change that edit okay into copy and copy that url if i share it to someone and that someone opens it in their own browser this is what they're going to see they will no longer see the original okay automatically google will ask them do you want to make a copy of this form so now your uh, your original form no is now safe no from being edited okay by the way teachers what i'm telling you right now is also works for all other files of google okay your google slides your google docs your google sheets no can all be shared using this okay so um, your templates now okay will be safe okay so this is the safest way to share a template okay so that's teachers, no, um, the perfect way, the, the most efficient way no, to share your forms. Okay? Um, so that hindi po tayo nagkakaroon ng problema no, whenever we are sharing our forms okay, with our respondents, with our uh, uh, co-teachers, okay, students, parents, etc. Okay? So that's um, for sharing. Okay? Next is for adding collaborators. Okay? Now we can also add collaborators. Okay? Now collaborators are, I don't know, um, perfect uh, venue for uh, for working with others okay, to create forms. Okay? Say, for example, meron tayong mga forms na uh, that we have to collaborate with. For example, gumagawa kayo ng mga assessments. Okay? Or you are creating, uh, you want, for example, someone to check the form and you also want them to edit the form um, um, at the same time. Okay? Then you might want to add them as a collaborator. So here's how you add a collaborator. Okay? So you go here okay, in your form and you will see three dots on the upper right corner of your form. And you will see in the three dots, no, okay, that you have an option to add a collaborator. Okay. That's your um, I don't know, um option. Okay. So once you click that, you will now be able to add a person, okay, um, via email. Okay, you can add invite no um someone okay, um in your Google form. Okay. So they will now have an editing um uh, Permissions, okay, and editing capabilities in your Google Forms. So again, perfect venue for collaboration, okay? This could also be used by our students, okay? For example, if they're doing a research, okay, para hindi lang isang tao or isang bata yung nag-research, no? So you can actually ask them, okay, create a form, and all uh, all of the members, no, will become um, editors, okay, collaborators in that form, so they can construct the form no, together, not just one person, okay? So we can also teach our students, no, this one, okay? Okay, you can also, uh, another ano, no, um, um, very practical okay, uh, function of Google Forms is that whenever we have a Google Form, okay, aside from import questions, okay, if we want the entire form anyway, okay, then let's no longer import questions. Okay? Instead, let's just make a copy, okay? So if you want to make a copy, same thing, you go to the three dots again, okay, and you should be able to do a make a copy, okay? And take note, okay, when you whenever you make a copy, 
the location of the copy will be the same as the original. Okay, so kung nasan po yung original, nandun din po yung copy niya. Okay, so wherever it is in your Google Drive, that's going to be the same thing. Okay, now um, next one is on um, printing and saving a PDF copy. This one would be some of the concerns of our teachers. Although I do not encourage this. Because again, the main purpose of um, Google Form is to digitalize, okay? So it's a counterproductive. But if ever you will come a point that you will have to print your form, okay, for documentation, for anything else like that, okay, what you can do here is to go to three, the three dots again, and you will have an option to actually print it, okay? Now, when you do and uh, click on uh, print, okay, you will actually have an option to save it as a PDF. Okay, so either you print it all, actually print it, or actually save it as a PDF right there. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, so first you can save it as a PDF and then print the PDF later on. Okay, so the entire form will be there. Okay, so far my form is a three page form. Okay, so it's not exactly the same, it will not have the banner, all the details, no, usually just the text, okay, and the questions in the form. Okay, but anyway, it should be able to. Um, uh, you should be able to print no, that particular form, okay? Now, next one is, um, let, before we go to that, okay? Let me now first also explore, okay? Uh, other settings of our form, which are also equally important no, as we um, uh, I don't know, use this particular form, okay? So when you go to your forms, okay, you will also see you know, that beside the questions, you have two other tabs. Okay? Ito po yung medyo nakakalito. No? Okay? Kung matagal na po tayo hindi gumagawa ng forms or na-encounter ang forms, okay? forms have a different format before. Hindi na ito katabi before. Okay? Wala yung iba dito mga settings na. Pero ngayon, pinagtabi-tabi na ni Google okay? and consolidated all our ano, no, um, um, settings okay? in this okay? sa um, tabs natin. Okay? So kanina na-explore natin yung question tab. Let's now explore the response tab. Okay, the response tab basically allows you to view uh, responses. Okay, let me open a um, a sample form. Okay, so that uh, we we can really view no, some um, um, information. Okay, now let me just um, look for a random. Okay, example this one. Okay, now say for example this is a form no, that I use for the um, 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 what do you call this? Um, student engagement uh, webinar series with class point. Yan po, ganito po kadami yung form na I have certificates that I have to process. No, kaya medyo natagalan teachers, no? 2,884, okay? So in your responses is where you can turn off and turn on um, responses, okay? So you can accept or not accept responses, no? In this, part, in this particular tab. And you can actually also see here that you have um, an analytics, okay? Of all your information. Say, for example, dito, we have a question on have you subscribed to our channel? Okay, we can see that 98.6 already subscribed um, with a very few um, portion, 1.4 uh, of the respondents have not subscribed yet. Okay, so and even um, summary of the responses are also curated here no, in your Google form. Okay, so ganun po kahusay no, and um, ka effective okay, ang ating Google form. It already gives you that much needed. So if you're thinking about, for example, TOS, okay, um, assessment analysis, etc. Ito na po yung mga analysis or analytics na kailangan natin for those instances. Okay? We can also copy this, for example, okay, and put that in our presentations. Okay? You can actually do that. Okay? Um, if you want to present it yeah, into like a forum or a panel, okay, we can do this as well. So if you uh, use this for a research, okay, you can easily copy this analytics into your presentation okay, without a problem. Okay? That's for our response, um, I don't know, um, response tab. Okay, the last tab that I'd like to explore, which a little bit lengthy as well, is our settings tab. Okay, Eto na ngayon, Okay, settings tab. Okay, has many settings. No, okay, so isa isahin po natin because napakahalaga po nito. No? Okay, the first setting that you will encounter when you open the settings tab, okay, is what we call the quiz. Um, uh, settings, okay? So, not all forms, no, okay, are uh, created as a quiz, okay? So, hindi po lahat yan merong points, okay? Kanina po may nakita akong question in our uh, comment section, how do we assign points to questions, okay? Before you can even assign points to questions, okay, you have to first turn the form into a quiz, okay? So, by toggling, uh, when you toggle this button, okay, 
the form now has been turned into a quiz. Okay? It means that you can now assign correct answers and also uh, ano, um, um, points no, for the questions. Okay? You can determine if the grades are released immediately or later after review. Okay? And this is the one I was talking about you uh, to you earlier. You can actually um, turn on the lock mode of the form, but that's only working you know, if you are using Chromebooks. Okay? Not um, it's, a, it's a special device. Okay? So if, then, if you're not using a Chromebook, then you cannot use the lock mode. Okay? You can also uh, do some settings about missed questions, correct answers, point values, etc. Okay? You can also assign a, um, a global quiz default uh, or default question value, uh, one, two, etc. But usually one point naman yan. Okay? Now, if you go back, no? okay? so if we just, for example, um, before we explore the other options, okay? what happens now when you turn a, a form into a quiz, okay? what happens now is that when you look at a particular question, okay? you can now have, you will now have what we call an answer key. Ayun. Okay? So that's where you determine uh, answers and points for each question. Okay? So again, hindi po yan lumalabas. You will not be able to see that option unless the form has been turned into a quiz. But once you do, when you once you did, you will now be able. You will not have. You will now have that option. When you click on answer key, okay, you will now be able to choose here, okay, um, to choose the correct answer. Yes, po. Tayo po ang pipili, no? Okay, we have. We can choose, no? Uh, we will have to determine the correct answer. Say, for example, sample lang naman to, no? Hindi naman to correct. Hindi naman. Wala naman talagang correct answer dito. Pero when you choose a correct answer, you can actually simply, as if you're answering it, okay? Then when it's green, it means that it's the correct answer, okay? But of course, again, by demonstration, because again, your role doesn't have a correct answer anyway, okay? Now, once you have selected the correct answer, you can also assign points. One point, two points, three points, etc. It's really up to you, okay? Now, dito minsan nagkakaroon ng problem or nalilito yung mga teachers natin, okay? What is the answer feedback, okay? What's that add answer feedback? Add answer feedback is if you want to send a qualitative feedback. Say, for example, okay, kapag ta, pag incorrect ang answer niya, ang, 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 ang feedback natin is, please try again. Okay? Or you can also say, study harder. Okay? Okay? Or you can even link, for example, as a formative assessment, pwede kang mag-link ng uh, websites or mag-link ng video which the student can use in order to understand why he was wrong. Perfect way for formative assessments. Okay? And of course, pag mga correct answers naman, we can always say, um, excellent. Okay? So yun naman yung nilalagay natin dyan. Okay? It's a boost to the morale of our students. Okay? I'm correct. Okay? And um, I will receive an immediate feedback, no, which is, uh, this one, no? excellent. Okay, you can also like upload a video or a GIF, etc. Okay, so once you uh, you're okay with that, you can set that. Okay, and um, that will appear no if your once your student answers the form. Okay, that's for a quiz mode. Okay, so that's again only doable once you turn the quiz into a quiz uh, the form into a quiz mode. Okay, now when you're done, just click done. Okay, and you have set the correct answer already. Okay. Uh, as the creator of the form, you would also see there, if there's a check, it means that's the correct answer, okay? That check mark, no, that green mark does not appear in your respondent's view, of course, okay? Yeah, they will not see the correct answer, okay? So don't worry, okay? That's uh, one of the settings, the first settings that you might want to, uh, that you, you will encounter, okay? Second is our responses, okay? So there's, there's also settings for responses. The first one is that you might want to automate collection of email addresses. Okay? Now, when you say collect email addresses, no, it will now require a, a Google form. No? Uh, it will now require, a Google form will require the respondents okay, to, um, to sign in. Okay? They cannot like, answer the form anonymously. Okay? That's ba basically what happens. Okay? This one, the second one, send responders a copy of the responses. Okay? I love doing this okay? always okay? so that our stu uh, my students okay? or whoever answered my form will always get a copy. Especially, for example, for our teachers who are evaluating, sometimes hindi nakakapag-screenshot. No? Um, so, kailangan ko itong i-turn on lagi. Minsan nakakalimutan ko din, but I always uh, try my best no, to turn this on para lagi may evidence no, yung mga nagsasagot ng evaluation sa uh, kaagapay teacher support. Okay? Uh, you can also turn on editing, okay? 
And you can also limit the form to your domain if you want, okay? Or to open it, no? if you toggle that button, it means that it can be accessed by anyone, even outside your organization, okay? You can also um, limit the responses, okay, to, for example, to one, okay? Etc. Okay? So, um, um, para hindi sila pwede mag para wala kang mga duplicate entries, basically. Okay? And, of course, you can also determine here the total size limit of the file upload. That's uh, for your response settings. Okay. The last one, um, the, uh, the last um, settings that we can explore here is the presentation. Okay. So basically, ano lang naman to, um, uh, fundamental um, settings for your presentation, like the progress bar. If you want to see that progress bar or the respondents would see the progress bar, how far they are into the form. Uh, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Adesan nagtanong kanina, teach, you can shuffle the, the option. You can also shuffle the questions here, okay? And it shuffles the question no, in your form, okay? Uh, but again, uh, based on my experience, okay, um, ito yung last time yung trinay namin, no, I think uh, it shuffles the question even across, if not mistaken, no, kanina, parang feeling ko mali yung sinabi ko kanina, I think it shuffles the question even um, outside of the sections, okay? So let's be careful with that, okay? And uh, you can also send a confirmation message, okay? Ang default po niyan is your response has been recorded. You can edit that. Okay? Um, say, for example, you can say thank you um, for your response. Okay? You can uh, customize it. Okay? Uh, or um, even more I don't know, customization if you, can, you want to do that. Okay? Uh, you can also uh, show link to submit another response if you want. Okay? If you want, kapag hindi po tayo nakalimit to one response, pwede niyo pong ipakita. But so far right now, nakalimit kasi tayo to one response. So, hindi nila makikita yung option to submit another response. Okay? Um, they can, you can also show them the summary of the responses, uh, their, their, ano, their, uh, the respondents, okay? or the summary of the answers, or you can also hide it. Okay? So it really depends on you. Okay? Now, let's not forget, by the way, you know, that um, um, Google Form has an auto-saving. You can turn that off, but that's not recommended. Because if you turn that off, your respondents will lose that 30 day auto saving of their uh, progress. Okay, so, lalo na pag sample, pag sobrang haba ng form, no? okay? You can um, better talaga na naka auto save tayo, no? uh, at least for 30 days. Okay? And last one, meron ka mga default forms dito, default forms, questions, uh, etc. Okay, you can also add that. Okay? Um, para hindi ka pa ulit ulit. For example, pwede ka mag set ng, um, if you want to, Lahat ng forms mo will always um, collect uh, emails. You can do that, okay? Para hindi ka pa ulit-ulit na nag, uh, tatagal ng button na yan, okay? Sa questions mo, you can also, uh, by default, make all your questions um, required, okay? So you don't need to toggle the button required no every time, okay? You can also do that, okay? If you are the type of user that makes it, um, makes your form no all required. Yes, no, teacher me. No, pwedeng pwede yan. Definitely, yung mga gamified natin. Kasi, basically, ang ginawa doon, teacher me, no? Ang ginawa doon ni Sir, um, teacher MJ is naggumamit siya ng branching. Okay? So, nire-redirect niya yung mga users, no? To the different options or sections of the form. Okay? Yes, no? Okay, um, teacher Linda, no? Very welcome addition okay, to the um, functions ng ating Google Form. Okay? So, so far, those are your tabs, no? Okay, um, um, in Google Form, okay? So let's now continue uh, in our Google, um, um, uh, different aspects of our Google Form, okay? Um, the next one that you might want to explore, okay, are add-ons and extensions, okay? So meron din tayong capabilities no, to add functionalities in our Google Form, okay? And some of this, uh, these functionalities will come into what we call add-ons or extensions, okay? So you go here, be, uh, for you to add extensions or add-ons. So basically, when you add add-ons or extensions, it will add functionality to your Google Form, okay? And we want that, right? We want more functionalities. So if you want that, you go here, sa three dots natin, upper right corner, and you will see here add-ons, okay? So when you click add-ons, it will now open to the option to add add-ons to your Google Form, okay? So right there, okay? So you will now be able to choose the different add-ons that you can add into your Google Form. Some are paid, some are free, um, some are good, some are not. Okay, be selective. Okay, so select on the form the uh, I don't know the add-ons that will definitely help you 
uh, maximize and optimize the use of Google Form. But here are some that you might want to consider, okay? Adding into your form, okay? By the way, once you have added an add-on into your form, you will now begin to see this, this icon, which now um, curate no all the um, I don't know all the um, add-ons that you have added into your Google Form, and this is a one-time add. When you create a Google Form later on, this add-ons will still be there and available. Okay, so you don't need to add this every time you create a form. Okay, so this is um, an add-on to your Google Form itself to the application. Okay, now I have some um sorry no okay um some what do you call this um um suggested okay add-ons and extensions okay let me just skip that one okay skip ko lang to no? yan okay so the first one is I always do um I'm a fan of this um particular um add-on is called the form limiter okay for Google Forms okay. So it's a Google Form add-on that allows to automatically close a form based on a restriction and limitation, okay? Ang limitation mo is either number of answers, okay? Or the date and time, okay? So you can close the form automatically. So it's not always forever open, okay? So what this is for, setting a date and time for a form, setting limits to number of respondents, okay? What are some limitations? No warning when the form has reached its limits, okay? So bigla na lang siya magko-close. So kung meron kang mga respondents na uh, crammer, okay? And they answer the form very, very close to the deadline, okay? Or to when it's going to be closed, they might not be able to finish the form, okay? Second one that you might want to explore, timer and proctor. This is a paid uh, add-on though, okay? But it allows you to monitor, proctor, um, and, uh, I don't know, uh, add timer, okay? And, um, I don't know, um, um, screen locking into your Google form, okay? Even if you're not using Chromebooks, okay? Another one similar to that is Kilgo, okay? That allows you to also do the same thing, okay? Um, as timer and proctor, no? Proctor, add uh, timer, add um, I don't know, um, screen locking capabilities, even camera, by the way, teachers, no? You can add a camera um, viewing. Although, right now, we're going back uh, on-site, no? So, this should not be as a problem for on-site assessments, okay? But if ever, okay, that would be uh, nice, no? Uh, Moat is also a nice addition. This is not necessarily for Google Form. This is a Google Chrome extension, okay? But it works for your uh, Google Form, okay? And this is perfect way if you want, for example, to leave like audio um, um, instruction in the Google Form. So you might, for example, if you want, you can, um, especially for our, our English teachers or even Filipino teachers, for example, Miss May, and for our Filipino teachers, for example, if you want to, um, like recite a poem in audio, you can put that in your Google form, okay? And then the students will have to listen to it and then answer several questions, no, about that uh, that uh, poem or story, okay? You can do that in Google form using Moat, okay? Because Moat allows you to uh, add audio uh, materials you know, in Google form, okay? If you want, okay, you can also ask your students to um, to add um, the Moat extension so that you, they can also answer in audio, Okay, so you can definitely do like oral examination in Google Form no, using Moat teachers, okay? Next one, you can also, um, this one is unfortunately a paid up right uh, already, okay? Before it's not, no, okay? But for those who are looking to insert um, um, equations in our Google Form, you can use no equation extension, okay? Uh, to be able to do that, okay? So again, perfect, perfect, um, um, extensions no, that we can explore. Okay, those are some of your I don't know um, your forms, uh, the um, extensions and add-ons that you can use in order to optimize, no, add functionalities into your Google Form. Let me just go back, no, kasi napauntay sa kong ano sa number ten ko. The last one that I'd like to explore with you, uh, teachers, no, is linking data to Google Sheets. This is a very very uh, I don't know a uh, useful one. Okay, so. Take note that when you um, have generated data already, okay, take note that you can actually link your data okay, into a Google Sheet. Okay, So for example, here, ang gagawin lang po natin to be able to generate a Google Sheet for that is to go to responses and to click on this one. Okay, When you do that, that will now create a spreadsheet no, for this particular form. Okay, Now, what's wonderful about this linking is that this is what we call, ang term po nito sa, sa Google community is 
dynamic linking. Okay? It's called dynamic linking because once you connect this form into your Google Sheet, okay, once every time there's new information coming in into your Google form, it will also be curated into your Google Sheet. So hindi po sila naghihiwalay, okay? So na-update din po yung inyong Google Sheets every time, okay? You can either put it in a Google Sheet, new Google Sheet, or as um an as um, ano no, um into a existing spreadsheet. You can do that, okay? So say for example, let's create this, okay? Now, once you have created, it will open to a um, a Google Sheet. Okay? So, so far, wala pang data. So, walang laman yung ating Google Sheet. Okay? But there are some that, some cases no, that teachers would ask no, or uh, would want to unlink their uh, Google Sheet into the Google Form. They don't want anymore uh, the Google Sheet to be updated. You can easily do that as well by going here okay? um, and then uh, clicking the three dots and you can actually unlink the form into your Google Sheet. So, your Google Sheet would no longer be updated. No? Every time there's new information into your Google Sheet, you can also download no, this entire Google Sheet as a CSV if you want. So you could work in it on other spreadsheet applications. Okay, so that's another amazing integration and uh, ano, no, collaboration between the different tools of Google Workspace. Let me just forward that, teacher. Sorry for the confusion on the arrangement. Okay, so teachers, we're now down to our last part no, of your. Um, yes, no. Um, we're now down to our last part. This one, teachers, no. Simple, ano lang to, Simple sharing lang, okay? That you might want to explore. I will not be able to demonstrate it anymore because of the lack of time, okay? Uh, and of course, no, we have covered some of this, no, in our other sessions, okay? Pero let's go beyond, okay? Just a survey tool because Google Form is so much more than just your usual, no. Uh, survey tool. Okay? Of course, okay, nandiyan pa rin no, ang Google Form natin as a uh, for research. Okay? So, yan pa rin ang um, primary ano, ng, ano, no, uh, use talaga ng ating Google Form okay? for research. Okay? Uh, and again, what's best about uh, using Google Form for research? Number one, you can link your, your, your data into Google Sheet so you can further analyze it. Okay? Second, you have automated analytics. So, instantaneously you have a visuals no of your data right away of course you can use advanced statistical tools okay? but uh, that's really up to you okay second uh, you can already also use no uh, for assessments okay? uh, regardless if it's summative or formative no as you can see we have you can assign points you can assign answer keys um, we can uh, validate answers if we want no so that we can um, actually correct um, collect no appropriate accurate answers okay, or accurate information from our students okay? and again what's really best no is that it's it has analytics okay so yung google form having analytics no is also good for assessments okay and for us teachers okay for us to be able to impact learning okay those analytics will actually come very very handy okay na hindi na po tayo naubusan ng oras no sa pagka-count sa pagti-TOS sa ano no sa pag um sa pag-analyze no ng mga items natin etc no after um an examination okay so we have an automated way to do it okay and Google Form does it for you okay and of course, no, perfect din siya for formative assessments. Okay, sabi ko kanina, no, pwede kang maglagay ng mga uh, instructional materials like videos, okay, images, no, and ask your quest your students about it, okay? Uh where they can explore, no, um uh ano no, the different um or they can they can already, no, interact with your content, okay? Um or be introduced to a concept right away before they even go, go into your class, okay? So again, that flip learning is very doable in our Google Form, okay? And of course, for evaluations, okay? Um, itong, uh, ano, no, um, Google Form natin is really perfect for evaluations, okay? Well, again, in analytics natin plus, meron kang dedicated question types for evaluations, okay? Uh, na pwede natin gamitin, okay? And of course, okay, isa rin sa talagang, ano, no, um, gamit na gamit ngayon ng, uh, ng ating uh, mga teachers na sa Google Form natin is for registration, okay? And, What's good about this is that um, you can actually tie this up, no? Okay? Google Form can be connected to your Google Sheet, okay? And Google Sheet can actually be uh, automated, no? Yung um, yung, yung um, 
um, extension that we call Autocrat. Okay? We can use it in Google Sheet to automate uh, processes. Say, for example, sending certificates, sending um, uh, ano no, um, um, documents. Okay? Uh, for example, if you want to give your uh, registrants no, a copy of their registration, you can also do that okay? using Google Form. Google Sheet Autocrat integration. Okay? For those who are interested, we have that in our integration playlist okay? about um, automating um, report cards and documents. Okay? So you can definitely use that. And again, connected pa rin yan sa ating uh, Google Form. And the last one, of course, um, teachers, no? ito gamit na gamit ko talaga no? on a very personal level. Okay? Ginagamit ko talaga si Google uh, Form for submissions. Okay? Pag nagpapasubmit ako ng mga link, okay? I don't ask my students to submit links in Gmail. Napaka-complicated po niyan. Or, I also don't want to submit it in like a form, yung gagawa ka ng uh, Google document, okay? or kaya uh, document where they can uh, paste their link kasi people can, other students can access the links of the others. Okay? And copying, cheating can actually happen. Pero kapag nagpasubmit ka ng links via Google form, okay? and then naka- Naka, ano ka lang, response validation, text, um, and then URL. You're sure you're collecting a URL. Plus, you can um, you can avoid no students um, accessing each other's works. Okay? That's what I have been doing, teachers. No? And very, very effective. Plus, again, uh, you can put your, um, your data into Google Sheets so you have all the links of your students in one spreadsheet. Very efficient teachers, no? very useful for our um, students. And of course, even files. No? Pag nagko-collect ako ng uh, PDFs kay, um, or other submissions, no, I also use Google Form to efficiently collect all of those things. Okay? And again, since meron tayong response validation sa Google Form, really perfect no, for collecting all of these things. Okay? Ayan, okay? So, so many more teachers, no? Okay? Um, um, things that we can use um, Google Form with. No? Pero uh, these are just some of the ideas. No, I'm looking at the chat right now and sobrang dami yung mga ideas that are um, are, ano, are uh, being shared. No? Okay, so please keep on sharing, teachers, okay? what and how you have been using Google Form for your classes. Okay? Uh, what, your, what are your innovative ideas no? on using Google Form? Okay? Yes. Um, shout out sa ating mga, nasa, mga teachers na nasa uh, traffic ngayon, okay? Okay, from Teacher Rose Malin, I use Google Form in mass attendance, learner profiles, portfolio, etc. Ayan, daming gamit ni Teacher Rose Malin. Napakagaling, okay? Uh, isa yan sa aming ano, Team Google yan, okay? Minsan lang si Teacher Rose Malin, lumilipat kasi minsan yan sa Microsoft. Eh. Kaya nagtatampo ako minsan kay Teacher. Just kidding, okay? Okay lang Teacher Rose Malin, just kidding. Okay? I miss you, Teacher Rose Malin. Um... Pero ayun, solid, solid, no? A solid uh, Google uh, Workspace user yan, si Teacher Rose Malen, okay? Um, ayan, si Teacher, um, teacher, sorry, teacher Maan Tapawan, okay? I also use it for spelling and vocabulary practice of my son. Wow, perfect, perfect use of, um, okay. Ah, eto Teacher Lay, question. Teacher, please, lalo na doon sa napaka-paragraph form, paano yung lagyan ng score? Ay, Teacher uh, Lay Corvera, unfortunately, wala po tayong way to, uh, to, ano, no, to put points, no? Okay? Sa ating um, um, short uh, response at saka sa ating paragraph, unfortunately. Okay? Kaya yung mga, yung teachers, no? Kung paragraph yan or short responses yan, I would recommend you you um, uh, post that um, through Google Classroom and assign a rubric for it. Okay? Kasi hindi mo yan pwedeng i-points no, sa uh, Google Form. Kasi open-ended yan. No? Okay? So maraming factors na kailangan kang i, um, you have to consider no, to be able to determine the correct answer. Okay? Yan. Ang dami na lumalabas. No? From Teacher Jose, uh, Jason Bicek, I used Google Form to make enrollment portals, quiz, and surveys. Okay? Um, teacher Villa Luz Renance Assessment Portfolios Evaluation Reviewers okay? Teacher May Versosa for anecdotals of students are placed in Google Form as well as referral forms for cons I love that teacher May no? ginagamit din namin yan for anecdotes okay? so for quickly to uh, for you to be able to quickly record anecdotes of your students in your class you can use Google Form okay? yung tipong uh, just enter the name of the student okay? and then meron kang mga determined options like noisy at um, uh, not responsive okay? or um, things like that no you can really do that no para uh, when you want to annotate or um, like annotate or um, um, 
record some anecdotes of your students in your class, no? Observations, you can already do that. Okay? Yeah, maybe for example sa mga administrators natin, kapag kayo po ay nag-observe, mag-Google form na rin kayo, okay? Gamit kayo ng isang template para makapag para madali niyo pong ma-evaluate yung mga teachers niyo or makapag-take note ng mga observations niyo. Okay? So yan, teachers, ang ilan sa mga ideas natin. So madami pa, no? Okay? We have a lot more to uh, to look at no, when, uh, when using Google Form. So in essence po, okay, um, our Google Form, uh, we have talked about today, no, introduction to Google Forms. Okay? I hope that you have been refreshed. Okay? Alam ko dito marami ng mga um, master users of Google Forms. Okay? We have explored all the facets no, and functions and buttons of um, Google Forms. Okay? Medyo mabilis ng konti, pasensya na po. You can always replay no, this session okay? uh, to slow it down, okay? to go back to important aspect of the video. Okay? Um, we also explored no, some practical uses of the Google Forms. Okay? I have given mine. Please do check as well our teacher's suggestions okay? in the chat. And dami rin nilang ideas. Okay? And now, let's proceed to an open forum. Okay? Mga katanungan, okay? mga question po na meron po kayo uh, about uh, Google Form. Okay? Anyone? Okay. Okay. Uh, this one, yan. Oh, may, okay. may concern no, from teacher Venice na no? nag-try siya ng certify him. Yes. Um, the multiple... Di, sa din, di po niya mabibilang yung correct answers under the multiple choice um, type of questions. Although, teacher Venice, I think it should be able to do that. Okay? Um, because ang binibilang ng certify him, if I'm not mistaken, no, would be the total points. Okay? So, you'll have to uh, determine the total points for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maraming salamat, Teacher Lay Corvera. No, hindi lang refresh kay may new learnings pa. Enjoy this topic tonight. Maraming maraming salamat po. No? Okay. So let teachers um questions kay bakak meron po kay mga katanungan kay um uh, or anything else that you'd like to um uh, add. This one is a clarification from Teacher Alan Diaz. Sir Franco, I need a clarification on how to use Google Forms in order that my learners will not be copying each other's output other than sending a link of my folder from my drive. Okay? Now, Teacher Alan, well, of course, the first one that you really want to have no, uh, in order to prevent cheating or uh, them copying each other's answer, you can use proctoring okay? so that we can, uh, you can properly monitor no, their actions in using uh, or answering your Google Form. But again, those are paid. Okay? But here are some techniques that you can use um, teacher Alan, okay? Uh, the first one is, of course, you can use the shuffle order ng questions sa settings natin, okay? Para nag -iba, iba yung kanilang order ng questions, okay? So they are not always on the same question no, at any given time, okay? Second, you can also shuffle the questions, the order of the question, the, the options, okay? So that you can, um, you, uh, students no, will not uh, know uh, exactly, no? Kasi, um, they would, like example, the question has um, an answer is the first option, so they would know that it's the first option. But if you shuffle the, the options, they would not do it. Okay. Second, third technique ng mga teachers, no? and this is a very, very wise technique. No? Okay? If you're going to use Google Form as an assessment, okay? medyo, um, ano lang, no? um, um, it's, it's a little bit, uh, it will take some time to work, uh, to, to design it. Pero ang ginagawa ng ibang teachers, okay, is that naka-shuffle yung questions, naka-shuffle yung options, okay? But at the same time, naka-sections yung questions, okay? So each section, just one question, okay? So for example, kung meron kang 10 questions, okay, for your test, meron kang 10 sections, okay? So that the students will not see each the other questions no, unless they're done to that question first, okay? So that now limits, no? Um, so our students will definitely have different questions at every given time, okay? So hindi sila pwedeng mag-share ng kanilang mga answers, no? Even if it's online, okay? So you can also do that, no? That's a, uh, a very, very um, uh, crafty technique, no? Um, in preventing um, sharing, okay? Of, or copying their output, Okay. Yeah. Okay. But of course, no. Um, teacher Alan, you can always remind your students, okay? Para din um, alam din nila no yung uh, yung protocols niya sa class. Okay. Okay. Next one. Meron pa bang question? This one is from um teacher uh, Maximilian. Okay. Sir, pwede ba bang ma-download ng video na ito? Wala pong internet ang school namin. Yes po. Pwede pwede pong ma-download. Okay. I want to share this video to my fellow teachers during our lack session. Yes, you can download this. Okay. You can use this um to your sessions. Okay. 
Um, just let me know if you have if you need other help. No, uh, teacher uh, Maximilian Sorbito. Okay, I will be more than willing to help you out. Okay. Uh, this one, Teacher Lourdes Santawana. Sir, bakit po hindi mabuksan ni Bang students ko ang, ang short link? Okay, teach, ito po, ano, has, not some, has nothing to do with Google Form. Okay? Teacher Lourdes, ang problem na po yan, nasa, in, nasa Google Chrome ng inyong mga students. Okay? Or kanilang browser settings. Kasi kapag nag, um, sinorten po natin yung link, especially kapag gumamit po tayo ng mga URL shorteners, like tinyurl.com, or Bitly, okay? Meron kasi yung mga ibang mga browsers, meron silang uh, firewall, okay? Or mga restrictions. They do not allow those, um, ano no, URL shorteners, okay? That's why nabablock yung mga links na yon, okay? So kapag ganun lang, Teacher Lourdes, share mo lang yung long link, okay? Ganun lang talaga yung ano dun. Or ask your students to shift or to change their browser to be able to access um, uh, the, ano no, the short link, okay? Yeah. Marami naman browser um uh, ano no, teacher Lourdes, okay? they can try Mozilla Firefox or um Microsoft Edge, etc. Okay? Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, wala pa tayong mga questions, okay? Okay. So, so far I don't see any questions anymore for uh, from our teachers. I'm seeing like uh, more ano, more suggestions, okay? This one from teacher Steven Lloyd Abad Dones, okay? Question po, pwede po bang ma-share ni owner ang G-Form sa other teachers as new owner? Okay? Like magkaroon sila ng separate copy ng G-Form as well as separate responses. Pwede din ma-edit ang questions. Okay? Um, <laughs> teacher Steven, no? isa-isahin natin. Okay? Pwede po bang ma-share ni owner ang G-Form sa other teachers as new owner? Yes. Because that's essentially a file. So you can transfer ownership. Okay? Kaya lang, teacher Steven, let's not forget the protocol for uh, transferring ownership. Transferring ownership can only be done within the domain. Ibig sabihin, dapat same kayo ng organization. Okay? So kung example, uh, DepEd QC kayo, dapat taga DepEd QC mo rin lang pwedeng i-share or i-transfer yung ownership na yan. Okay? Second, uh, magkakaroon sila ng separate copy ng form. Okay? Um, teacher, pag nag-transfer ka ng, teacher Steven, pag nag-transfer ka ng ownership, okay? ikaw as owner, mawawalan ka na ng uh, copy nun. Okay? Because na-transfer na yung ownership dun sa Bagong tao. You will have a copy, pero you will only be a view, uh, ano no, um, a viewer, a commenter, an editor, but no longer an uh, um, an owner of the um, the copy. Okay, so they will get now, okay, uh, that the ano no, the original copy. Okay, now for um, when you share, okay, um, it depends, no, okay. When you share the entire form, okay, even the responses, okay, or we transfer the ownership, no even the responses will actually be transferred. Okay? Hindi lang nata-transfer ang data okay? or the answers okay? kapag nag-make a copy tayo. Okay? Pero kung nagta-transfer ka ng ownership, even the data will actually be transferred as well. Okay? And of course, Teacher Steven, kapag nilipat niyo na po ang ownership, meron na silang capacity to edit. Okay? They have the full capacity of whatever you have uh, as an editor as because owner na sila. Okay? So, yun nga, be careful with that, okay? If you just want them to, for example, uh, to see the data, add as collaborator. If you want them to have a copy, um, say, share a template. I've shared kanina techniques on sharing a template uh, without seeing the original. Okay, so you can do that, uh, Teacher Steven, okay? Okay. And welcome po, maraming salamat, okay? Other questions, okay? Welcome, Teacher Steven, okay? This one is from Teacher Aryan Edoliantes. Okay? When sharing the form, is there an automatic command? One I click, once I click and shared link, create copy agad. Yan po. Teacher Arian, meron kanina. I shared it. Okay? Um, binali, uh, balikan ko lang yung ano, ano yung um, balikan ko lang yung um, what do you call that? Um, okay, yung slide na yun. Okay, para lang mapakita natin ulit, mabalikan natin and ma-review natin with um Teacher Arian, okay? Okay, balikan ko lang. Sorry for that, no? Kung medyo mabilis, okay? Yan, Teacher Arian, ito po yun. Kanina yung pinakita ko kanina. Um, when you're sharing, okay? Baba ko lang question mo, Teacher ano, no? um, um, Arian, okay? This is how you do it, okay? You don't share it the conventional way, okay? If you want to share um, um, a template, no? Ang tawag po natin dyan is force a copy, okay? Uh, you'll have to share the, the, the URL, 
edit the word edit at the end, replace it with copy. When you share the, the URL with the copy at the end it and send it to anyone, when they click it, automatic. Copy kagad. Okay? They would not even see the original. Okay? So I hope that answers your question, Teacher Aryan. Okay. Yan. Okay. Welcome po. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay? Now, teachers, other questions okay? or other things that you might have. Okay? Yan. Medyo malapit na rin po ako. Oh, malobat. Okay. So, um, teachers, kung wala na tayong questions, no? Okay? Yan. Okay. Welcome po, Teacher Aryan. Okay? So I I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave I'll leave you with that teachers no and um um kung meron pa tayong mga questions okay, please do uh, let me know no, okay um I'll be more than willing to answer your questions okay um in a, a different uh, time or um um an encounter okay so please don't hesitate to um to connect with me I'm uh, at facebook.com at kagapay teacher support okay? we also have um, uh, a website okay and um please do subscribe no at uh, www.youtube.com slash sorry slash c slash Franco Nicolo Adun. Okay? And teachers, marami salamat because we are now at 97.6. Okay? 2.4K na lang teachers, 100K subscribers na po tayo. Okay? For a while teachers, no? Okay? Okay, so teachers, okay, I'll just be on audio, no? okay? So again, maraming maraming salamat po for, for that, okay? Um, so malapit na malapit na po tayong magkaroon ng silver play button. Ayan, Teacher Rose Malen, uh, we have just dreamed of this uh, before, no? Um, pero ngayon, uh, malapit na siya, no? okay? At maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, okay? So teachers, at this point, okay, um, we'll now, we'll, we'll now uh, proceed to the evaluation of this uh, particular episode, okay? Uh, please evaluate uh, this link, no, uh, this um, episode at um, https colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash July series 2022 part 03. Okay? Uh, and please um, let me know no, if it's working teachers. Okay? Kung nakita nyo po or na-access nyo po yung ating link for today's session. Okay? And of course, uh, kung hindi pa na-access, no, gagawin po natin kagad ng paraan yung um, session, ay uh, yung uh, link natin. Okay? Uh, and teachers, uh, again, as I mentioned kanina, baka lang po may mga nakalimot no, that um, our um, certificates will be a little bit delayed no, than usual. Okay? So please allow us um, five to seven days before we, able, we are able to send this um, certificate. Plus, magkasunod kasi tayo. Today, we have a session. On Saturday, we have a session again. On Saturday naman, teachers, we'll be exploring Google Sites. Okay? One of my favorite tools no, um, as, ano, as an educator. Okay? And Teachers sa Google Sites natin, I'll try to elevate our discussion. Okay? I will be um, uh, ano, no, using, um, I will be um, demonstrating how to build different kinds of websites okay? using Google Sites. Okay? That is, of course, no, usable to our um, educators and our learners as well. Okay? Yan. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay? Yan. Okay? Uh, working. Ayun, uh, baka lang may ano, no? Um, change ko lang, teachers, yung... Um, yung title okay kasi baka nagkaroon lang ng mali sa title pero don't mind no uh, if the link is working that's actually um uh, correct teachers okay pero anyway para hindi po tayo ma-confuse no I'll also um change that okay that should be part 3 okay baka hindi ko lang po napalitan yung pangalan ano okay ng ating Google form okay and once again, teachers, maraming maraming salamat po no, for, um, for tuning in, okay? um, all 200 of you no, kanina, okay? um, for our session for today. Okay? Let me just um, open that. Okay? Give me a moment, teachers. Okay? I'm uh, fixing just the title. Okay? Pero you can already proceed with um, the evaluation. Okay? The um, title naman won't um, uh, change it. Okay? Para lang po hindi tayo malito, no? okay? And hindi rin po ako malito actually. Okay? I'll change that as well. I'll edit the title. Okay? Hindi ko pala napalitan, no? Part 3, Google Forms dapat. Okay? Yeah, teachers, uh, the form now has been uh, edited, okay? Um, you should now be able to access it, okay, with the proper uh, titles, okay? Should now reflect teachers, okay? Pero anyway, tama naman po yung header, okay? Google Forms yung header natin. 
Okay, yan. And maraming maraming salamat, teacher. So, yan. Okay, okay na daw po according to teacher John Eldrick uh, Gamilong. Okay? So, teachers, again, maraming maraming salamat no, for always tuning in. Okay? Hindi po kayo nagsasawa and I'm, I'm just uh, ano, no, um, um, overwhelmed by your support. Okay? So, thank you so much. Okay? And I hope to see you on Saturday okay, um, as we conclude our July series. And I will also be letting you know what's in store for August okay, on uh, Saturday. No? Kung ano yung mga nakaline up natin for our August series at definitely something to watch out for this coming August. No? Kahit medyo busy tayo, it's opening up school year for some schools and our public school teachers. Okay? Pero siguro din namin that learning continues. Okay? So teachers, please stay safe. Okay? Stay negative from COVID-19 and please uh, stay positive pa rin in life. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat po and have a great evening, teachers. Okay? Alam po,